hello, 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 and welcome to yet another My Witch Angel YouTube video. Ah, oh, guys, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you're here, and I'm so happy that we get to do this. I'm so, so happy. This makes me so, ah, oh, peaceful. You know, it puts me at ease. It just calms me down. I just, I hope it's the same for you. Come, come chill. Come get this reading, okay? Um, so it's not the peach and earl gray today, <laughs> even though I freaking love it. I got this uh, salted caramel, so get your tea, get your water, get your snacks, get ready. Let's just sit down and get into this reading. Let's chill. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Cheers! Think to a good reading. Oh my goodness, okay. One more, one more, one more. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, okay, so you know how we usually do, um, let me move my mug actually back over here. We usually do like the, we usually, we just started theme readings, right? And I don't know, I do kind of want to give a reading today because I just, you know, you know me, I love giving readings. But I'm, t <laughs> today I'm not really sure where it's going, as it is, as that's the usual here, you know what we do. We just be getting into readings and hopefully something makes sense. <laughs> So, without further ado, let's get started with picking our pile cards, or getting the overarching energies for our cards. Um, ooh, let me intention really fast. I mean, I kind of did already, but like, anyway. Um, already spirit. Let's, they're already just jumping in. Ugh. I didn't even have my incense today, guys. I'm just like, let's just, we need to, we need to do a reading. <laughs> I'm almost in want to. I was like, let me just go run some errands or something. But sometimes it's gonna be like, actually, we gotta do this reading. Um, I didn't mean, have no intense. Like I said, I'm just like, we have to do the reading. I'm. I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening um, here right now. But you know, when you feel the call, you just gotta feel the call and go for it. Ooh, my ear just rang really fast. Oh, sorry, bad. Uh, okay. Wow. Wow. It's serious. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'm feeling today's reading is going to be a little bit more serious, actually. Um, you know, we usually, like, joke around here. And, you know, we're going to have some jokes. We're going to have some, like, like, uplifting good vibes or whatever. But I think today's really going to be serious. I don't know why. Um, the serious reading. Maybe it's the weather. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's actually talk about something, right? First card, pile one, detective. Okay? Pile two... Samaritan. Yo, I have not seen this card before. This is cool. Isn't that pretty? Hedonist. Or is it hedonist? Loki, I don't know what that means. Let me see. Light attributes. <laughs> Inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. Shadow attributes. Pursues pleasure to the detriment of health. Indulges at the expense of others. Oh my. Yo, should we read all of them? Okay, I'll read all of them for you. Detective. <laughs> Light attributes, great powers of observation and intuition. Desire to seek out the truth. Shadow attributes, voyeurism. Falsifying information. 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 Does this vibe with you? Does this resonate with you? You're like, yeah or no. Samaritan. Light attribute refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Shadow attribute, exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Mmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I wonder, who is this reading for today? What is this for you today? I am really, I don't know. Guys, because like the before and the other reading too, I didn't really... Sorry, it's a truck outside. Are you done? Okay. Um, before the other reading, I was like, oh, you know... <laughs> we just gonna get into it and here kind of the same same but I don't like it's not the theme right now but I don't know I'm really not getting it's just it's random vibe for me to be like hey do this reading now because we just got to do it so I really don't know what's headed for you guys especially like now with like these my Caroline miss for our uh, piles it's I usually choose the mirror cards so I don't know you guys it's really weird for me I'm getting a weird vibe really weird serious serious vibe but mm. I don't know. Something, something, something's off. Something's going on. 
Okay, let's get, ooh, I'm gonna pop some little fun things on here in three, two, one. Okie dokie, we got bath bombs, hey. <laughs> okay, so on the detective card, we have this red and blue bath bomb. Come. Boop, don't roll away, no, stay right there. Okay, on the Samaritan card, we have this red and yellow bath bomb. Yes, because I love bath bombs, and these change color, like, in the tub. Anyway, <laughs> y'all, I'm, like, such a kid with some things. I'm like, yay, change colors. <laughs> okay, anyway, I mean, what? Bath time can be fun. It's bath time. Anyway, um, and then finally, we have this cupcake bath bomb um, by Sweet Treats. It's not in sponsor, by the way. So, ooh, if y'all want to sponsor me, bath bomb people, let me know. And, uh, ooh, how are we going to do a review of that? Anyway. Yes, I'm aware that this one's like way different than these two, but hey, that's a test for your intuition. Are you just gonna follow your eyes? Or are you gonna follow your intuition? Let's see what resonates with you. You can pause now and meditate if you like, see what's calling for you. Um, if not, the timestamps will be there down below, and I will see you in your reading. Bye! Hello there, pile ones, and welcome to your reading. Okay, y'all know I say it every time, but like, I hope this angle is fine. <laughs> Cause I can barely see like, you know, I'm recording from my phone, right? So it's like, I can't really see everything that's, that you see. I just see what I'm doing. Anyway, anyway, hi, let's get into this reading. Oh, but first, let's take a sip, cheers, to a wonderful, amazing reading full of truth and happiness and honesty, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> if we can divide with cat toys, we can divide with bath bombs. Let's get into this energy. Um, so if you're new here, I like to read the first overarching energy first um, to see like if that whatever I pick up on is resonating for you. Um, if it does, great, you're in the right place, stick around. If you are, if it doesn't resonate with you, then maybe you need to choose another pile and see what other messages are in this video for you or check out a different video, you know? Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get into this reading. Yo, it's quiet, hold on, let me put on some music. Okay, we're back. I just, I don't know. And I know, like, I keep on choosing, like, kawaii music. <laughs> but I don't know, it makes me so happy and just, like, energized, but, like, nice and feel good. I don't know. Um, okay. Let's see. Mm hmm Okay, I'm picking up different things, first of all. First of all, root chakra. Because, I mean, with this red here and this red here, the detective, um, or, like, this burgundy thing, let's talk about root chakra. So, you know, um, first of all, it's, like, the energy or, like, location-based Actual booty, really. <laughs> it's like, okay, scientifically or like specifically the base of your tailbone. Um, and I know it's like chakras are like, oh my God, what people have chakras or energy, whatever. It's just vibes. But okay, here, if you don't really, really, really vibe with, oh, this chakra is here and this chakra is there and this is the color and it's what it means. At least just like tap into the vibe of what it means, okay? Um, even if you don't feel it at the base of your spine and your tailbone, at least just know you have this type of energy. Root chakra energy, okay, is that what connects you with your physical realm, right? With like your world around you, your life. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, um, Okay, so you guys need to actually go out into nature to actually heal this. Um, you know, um, that, and look into this. Okay, hold on. I'm getting a lot. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you guys really need to get in touch with some trees. I don't know. <laughs> you really need to go out into like, and just sit. I think that's what they really need you to do. You know, get your hands and your fingers in touch with the earth. And um, really, like, study that. First of all, look at the color, the texture of earth. Think about where it comes from. Think about where dirt comes from. Think about how it's formed. Think about the nutrients of earth. What does it smell like? Okay, and how do you feel being in the midst of all of that, right? How do you feel being immersed into earth? 
Okay, root chakra is all about earth. Earth has root chakra energy. It's all source, right? Like physical source you can actually experience. Sacral chakra is like right above that and that's more of the spiritual side. But for you guys, it's root, right? It's actually what you experience and smell and taste. Um, a lot of you guys really need to get into plants and, um, and ingesting them as well. Like see the different like health properties of different plants, of sage and turmeric and and all these different types of leaves, getting a lot of leafy plants for you, like, not exactly, well, yeah, lettuce, eat your salads, of course, but, like, look into, um, like, spiritual practice type plants that you can ingest or put it in a soup, you know, different types of, uh, rosemary or, um, um, what's that one that starts with a T? I feel like that's a big one for you guys. It starts with a T. <sighs> it's gonna, because I want to say turmeric, that's what I keep saying, but it's not, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, freak, man, I can't. Well, y'all maybe know what it is. Whatever that plant or herb is. It starts with the, it starts with the tea. T -t 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 ah! It's, it's, it's eluding me. Be able to come back later. But look into that and using cooking with that. It's like it's green. You know, I really want to get this. It's like on the tip of my tongue. But um, it's not letting me. That's fine. Anyway, but a lot of you guys really need to go out to nature more with your root chakra people. Um, maybe you feel called to do that, but didn't really want to. I don't know, but do that go out to nature and plants and mountains and just be and like really sit like just sit and give yourself time to experience what you are experiencing don't just be like okay yeah i'm out here in these plants in this forest or in the sun okay here i am and yeah it's relaxing no like really go into detail with this look into every single thing around you um and how you connect with that what does it make you feel like that's receiving that's receiving the energy, you know. That's that's the that's receiving reciprocity. That's what can I say? Um. So when you okay, when you like are literally like this is listening. When you're sitting, just sitting and being open to everything, that is listening with your entire body. You know, just not just your ears, your entire body, your senses. You're receiving that, and that receiving is gonna let yourself be open to spirit and being open to messages and what the energies and everything has for you. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. and focus on that, mm, you know, that tone of the earth, I could say, you know, that vibe of the earth. It's a continuous, strong, but like stable motion, like frequency, I guess you can say, vibe, you know? And that, that can help you with your wavering energy and wavering mental everything and just emotional. It can help you waver, stay, you know? It helps you stay on this like one line. It grounds you. That's what the root ch chakra is. It grounds you. It's a grounding energy. And it's like you really need to look into this. That's, that's why I think this is a detective, detective card is pulling up here. You need to, like when I'm saying, you know, when you sit out here, be like a detective, okay? Like, look into everything and see how you react to it. Not just your action, but your reaction. Okay? That's the opening. Oh, I hope that was resonating for you. If it did, then you're in the right place. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you are here. I'm so happy and thankful that I can give this reading for you. Thank you for being here. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so with you guys and your stones, mm, hmm. Okay, no, for a lot of you, think of so like think of these stones as seeds of energy, right? Think of like the, what comes from the earth as like it has been formed from the earth over time, you know, from different sediments and different minerals and everything pressure heat a lot right and it soaks up all of that energy everything is energy literally you know um whether is it a, whether it is a stagnant type of stable energy like earth and you know i go back to science like think of the molecules and how it's like vibrating like in one spot like you know we learn about that in science solids that solid matter molecules atoms whatever they stay in that one place but vibrate right so it's always track uh 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 
producing a frequency, it's transferring energy and always taking that in, okay? Um, it's, it's always a transfer of energy, a transfer of energy. And the different makeup of different elements, okay, um, take on different frequencies of those energies, okay? So, so that's how the that's how stones work. Um, for you, I'm getting a lot of for you, maybe you can really pick up on that and really pick up on a lot of stones and really tap into the energies of different stones and let that actually wash over you. Um, you know, a lot of you earth energy people can really vibe with this, I really think, you know? Um, you know, it said like for me personally before, I was like, you know, a lot of stones don't do it for me a lot. Like, I, even though I wanted to and I can feel like the different potential they have or whatever, it's just, I don't fully, fully function and resonate with that because I'm just not made that way, you know? But I feel like a lot of you, or at least, yeah, I feel like a lot of you in this pile, pile one, you guys can really resonate with these stones and different types of stones and rose quartz and amethyst and jades and jaspers. And I think you can really get into that and really have it mean something for you and use that in your practice, your healing. You know, this, there's a lot of power for stones for you. Mm -hmm. Even you touching your stones, touching your stones, um, waving them, you know, just get into that vibe, that energy. I feel like that's good for you. It's a source, it's a seed, you know, it's not going anywhere. I think you really like that reliable, that reliability, that stability of, I have this here, it's not going anywhere. I have this stone with me. You know, maybe you can wear a lot of stones to help you out in your protection in your life. Um, maybe that'll make you feel better and actually work for you, you know? Okay, I'm picking up on a spiritual gift. Okay, hold on. What spiritual gift? Mm. Mm hmm. Okay, so I think you have a really good eye for, like, okay, so like with this eye, like, okay, I think you have a really good eye for discernment and like seeing spirituality for what it can, for like how you see it in real life, how it functions in real life, how it works, how it can work in different people's lives and your life. I think you just really see that. Um, you can see the different nuances of life and how you see divine, you know, made it happen or affected it. You know, you see divine step in different ways. You see it. Hmm. Okay, um, I want to pull more cards for you guys. I want to kind of keep this here. Can I keep this to the side? Can y'all see that? Hold on. I'll put this here. This is the onyx. My black moonstone. My opalite. Is that, is that good? Is that good? Okay. Stabilize. Yeah, I feel like you guys really like a lot of stabilized energy. A lot of stabilizing energy. Stabilizing. You know, I feel like you guys are stabilizing. You like stabilizing. Um, strong word for you guys. Message. Um... <clears throat> I kind of want to low-key pull more Caroline Miss, um, just to see what else pops out, um, you know, really that's like spirit, low-key wants me to pull these and I'm like, okay, <laughs> these messages came out before, okay, hold on, I'm pulling one more, oop, oop, this one, no, hold on, this one, oh, I feel like it's one of you, but... Okay, look, if you want to come out, you'll come out. <laughs> Ooh, here you go. Yes, I knew it was going to be you. I just knew it. Dang. All right. Hold on, let me move these so you can see them better. I'm doing better with, like, looking at camera now and seeing what you guys can see. So hopefully, hold on, let me move my face down so I can give this for you. Hold on, is my camera smudged? I hope not. Anyway, um... Uh, let me go get a tissue or something. Okay, and while I get a tissue, I will read. Uh, first, we had our child magical, as you can see, damsel, and then child divine. So, um, I know we talked about that before a little bit. Yeah, I'm about to wipe this camera, so. Excuse me, hello. Okay, because I don't know if it was like smudged for you guys or not. And I want you to see everything clearly. Okay. Um. Ugh. Sips for being clean. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so your inner child energy heals when you are in touch with. Okay, look. So you, what you see around you, everything around you, everything you experience, it's all connected with spirit, right? We keep talking about that. It's true. Um, okay, and so like that's why you can feel like a vibe from everything, from energies, everything. Okay, whatever, right? So your child, like your inner, like inner child energy, right? It's playing up a lot for a lot of you. And you know, I think it makes sense because I think a lot of people like in their waking life, they don't kind of just <laughs> you know, tickle their fancies in a way. <laughs> you know, people just don't really like just to do what they want to do just to make them happy, you know? Um, a lot of people feel like they have to do responsibilities first and have a lot of structure. But you know, you need to have a lot of freedom in your life. You know, you need to have this inner child freedom to just be happy and do what you want to do that makes you happy. You know, be creative and using your imagination. It's hard because you know, a lot of growing up takes that away from you. This world takes that away from you. It is hard. It's going to be a practice to get back into that for a lot of people who aren't just naturally like, oh, I want to just, you know, do whatever. <laughs> um, which of most people, you know, you want to. You have to take care of responsibilities. So you have to, first of all, find a good balance between your responsibilities and like which, what your passions are, what's gonna make you happy, right? I'll keep this here so you can see it and your bath bomb. Um, yeah, I think your inner child's asking for more freedom. I feel like you, yeah, you, okay, I'm getting a lot. Okay, so. For instance, it's just, I really do feel like your inner child's maybe getting like a taste for the freedom a little bit, kind of getting a little bit of practice of just being themselves and you being yourself and just doing what makes you happy. Um, and okay, so with this magical, right, you know, that puts you in this, this, okay, I feel like if you know kids or like I've been around kids and like kids just like playing or whatever, you get like the vibe of just them just like being happy you know what i'm saying like you know like kids people can just like love watching kids play because you know kids just play they're not they're not like worried about what they look like or what they sound like they're just playing you know it's just light happy fun good energy and you kind of need to have that too that's and that's that magic that you people pick up on that magic of wow just light happy goodness you know and it just makes everything good and happy and magical it makes everything just it just gives everything a little sparkle you know suddenly because, you know, like, if you're playing pretend, right, and you're playing on the, the jungle gym or whatever, like, when I was a kid, you we played pretend fighting dragons and monsters stuff, you know? And the slide isn't just a slide, it's the bridge down to, I don't know, the, the dragon's mouth, and you have to fight the dragon's mouth and put the sword, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything is different. Everything becomes something special. Suddenly the bath bomb is this magical piece of a potion, and you have to, you have to... Uh, bring it to the special warlock so they can put a spell on it. You know, I don't know. It's everything, something, everything becomes something special to you. And it's okay to let that happen. It's okay to believe that even just for yourself. Even if you're walking and then, okay, so let me tell you about charms. Let's talk about magic. Okay, let's talk about magic. Um, and, you know, and spirituality and everything. So, let's say you want your shoes to be magical. Let's say you want to cast a spell or a magic charm on your shoes. And I am saying cast a spell or put magic charm, but you can use any term. It's all the same emotion. It's just different words. It's all different language. It's all the same meaning. Um, like for me, for instance, okay. Um, for my earrings, I put a charm on a lot of my earrings. So, um, and I can tell you the way I did it later, but I'm just saying, for instance, the charm on my earrings is to hear um, the truth and only the truth from from outside source and inner source yourself. So, you know, I can't even lie to myself. I gotta hear the truth. And it's also for, you know, spiritual protection as well. I did, but whatever. Anyway, you can do that for your shoes. So you could say in the way you walk, you walk with honesty and you walk with authenticity. You know, whenever you put on these specific pair of shoes or whoever puts on those shoes, they will walk in a way that is true for themselves and good for themselves and or walks in the direction that is best beneficial for the person who wears it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can put that intention out there and that is magic, okay? Intentions are magic. It's literally just a word. So don't get tapped in, oh, magic isn't real. Well, like, low-key it is. You just gotta, it's just, it's just called different things. You know, low-key you can call prayer magic. Prayer is so magic. Prayer is magical. It's amazing. Um, intentions are amazing and magical. It's great. So I feel like spirit's really calling you to do this. Call on magic. Be magic. Be magical. 
and do it for yourself. You know, it doesn't have to be, you have to have a magic wand and be like, hey, pipity boppity boo, you know, like, <laughs> if that works for you, great, but I don't think a lot of magic really works that way with magic words like that. <laughs> um, it's more of just like, even you can put a magic spell over your day, you know what I'm saying, with, with a blessing. For me, at least, I'd be like, Lord, like, I bless this day, or like, please bless this day to, I don't know, reveal to me healing and like, let me like, I don't know, be open to whatever message you have to say or whatever healing that you might have to say or whatever. Let me be a, a, a source of healing and life for others. Like, like you speak whatever, speaking is so magical too. Like you speak over what you want it to happen. You speak your intention, you speak it. Um, magic flow, water flow, I love this. I love this for you. Have this power for you. I speak your own power. I speak your truth for your own power. I speak this for you and wish and pray this for you. Look into that, open up your mouth. Ew, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all are dirty. Anyway, okay, damsel. Yeah, you kind of been letting yourself feel like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna be out here and whatever happens happens, I'm gonna let spirit happen. And yes, in a way you do need to be open to spirit and be opening just to receiving and being like, okay, spirit, reveal me the answers, show me. But a lot of it is speaking. A lot of this is taking action for you. Like spirit can only meet you halfway, like I've been saying. Um, you know, cause it's your own life. They can't, spirit cannot control your life. The universe cannot control your life. You have to control your life. What you put out can come back into you. It's the balance. It's the karmic lessons. Okay. This, that's the energy, how it works. Um, but know that you have to have, the, you have to initiate, you have to start, you have to try. Okay. You can't just wait it for like the shadow attributes, like waiting for a night to provide for you. You can't wait for a spirit and just, just provide for you. You have to put the work in first. You have to try, all right? But know that there's so much power within you doing that, like so much taking charge and action and being like, you know what, I am going to do this. Um, it could be, guys, literally anything. I feel like a lot of you feel like, oh, what if it's small? Yeah, let it be small, forget it. Like, it's you. Like, you don't even have to, excuse me, sorry. You don't have to tell anybody. Like, you can just have it for you. Um, it could be your shoelace. It could be, I don't know, a little dot behind your ear. I heard of that from a different video. They said, like, putting a little dot behind your ear is good luck or something. And if that works for you, hey, do it. Like, if it's just something small, you know, let it be small. And it can be small for a long time. It just, it works for you. Okay, speak it. What was this? <laughs> I, like, was like, okay, what's this card? Child divine. Yes. 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 Authenticity, child. Okay, yes. Um, don't try to form yourself into whatever, just let yourself be. Let yourself be weird. Whether it be, I don't know, for me in my practice, right, I like to, it just makes me feel natural to be like, oh, hello, with all my hands and let me show you this and that and blah, blah, blah. It just makes me, I don't know. It's just, I'm just to be doing me. So don't you control yourself too much to where if you wanna, I don't know, maybe you wanna wear rings for your practice and wanna wear a crown. I just, ha, huh, I heard that from a different reader. She dropped her crown actually, and I and I'd read her stuff for years, or had been visiting her YouTube channel for a while, maybe not for years, but for a while, a long time. And I never knew not once that she wore crowns in her readings. Like I could be wearing a crown right now, y'all don't know. I mean, I'm not, but hell, I am. I, I'm a crown. But anyway, um, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you do what you want. You know, what I'm saying, like, she wants to wear a crown, wear your crown. You wanna, I don't know, put on a certain type of makeup. Okay, do that. You wanna wear a certain type of clothing, do that. You wanna. Anything, you want to start to certain music, do that. It's literally whatever you want to do, whatever is authentic for you. You don't have to copy anyone else, you don't have to practice anyone else. You can look, of course you can study, you can try, you can do all these different things and practice, but at the end of the day, do you. Let yourself shine. Look at this beautiful card. Look at this beautiful, beautiful card. Let yourself shine. Yourself. Let you shine your light. Hmm. Hmm. Yo. We haven't even done tarot yet. <laughs> this is just oracle, fam. Um, let's see what your oracle cards are. Oracle cards here. Do you want to do more oracle? I think we really could if we really wanted to, but let's do your Rider Waite tarot. I'm feeling Rider Waite tarot today. I think I want to pull these actually. Okay. Let's do one more. One more spirit. One more. Two more? Three more? Who are you? Three more for real? No, not all of these. All of these? No. All of these? 
all of these? I guess we are. Yo, Loki, sometimes I just be lazy. I'm like, I don't want to do all of it. <laughs> but this is it's not for me. It's for you guys. I got to do this reading for you. Hmm. Loki, I haven't started reading yet. I'm kind of just looking at the balance of this. I'm like, how am I going to make this look? <laughs> Can y'all see everything? I have not started reading it at all. I haven't even really looked at the cards, sorry. Oh, oh I am, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so first we have the Fool, second, Seven of Pentacles upright, Three of Wands upright, the World Reverse, the Emperor upright, High Priestess upright, and then Five of Pentacles. You know, I'm getting a lot of these cards. I've gotten a lot of these recently, y'all, in these past readings, right? Oh, maybe I'll learn same, same people, hey! Welcome back. I'm so happy. You make me so happy being here. You really do. And I wish I could tell you specifically, whoever's watching, but if this, I hope this means something for you. I really do appreciate you being here. And I'm so happy I can give this for you. I, I love giving readings for you. Okay. Um, let me see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we kind of got this already before with a different reading. Um, like, you really started to encounter, like, embark on this new journey. You know, this new spiritual journey. And, you know, I know it's... it's You, you, you need constant affirmation, support with this, because it's so... Y'all, it's hard! I know, it's so hard. It's not easy, because it's not talked about a lot. It's not widely known. It's not, like, you can relate to a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people with this. It's just... So I know you're like, I need another reading. Like, is it okay? Like, is this okay? I know you like ask this question. Is this okay? Um, and it, and you are okay. You will be okay. You are okay. I know it's new. I know it's very, very new. And I know you're putting a lot of faith into this. And I know it requires and asks, demands a lot of faith from you. Y'all, did the camera change or like the angle change earlier? Like when I moved it? Should I leave it alone? I'm just, <laughs> I was like in another video after I moved it, it got like worse. And I was like, I did so good, right? Y'all, I'm sorry, I'm ratchet. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, and I feel like maybe you felt like you're not really starting so much. Maybe you felt like you're not really doing a lot or feel like you're making a lot of headway. But please know that you are. Even, okay, so for me at first, I had to do like a lot of research. It was research at first. Um, I, and, and that was really about it. Like, I felt the only call I really felt to do was call to do research. I was like, I have to read about this a lot. I mean, it is so very interesting. It's really cool to read about and see the different, you know, nuances and balances of different religions and practices and, you know, seeing what's available for you. But that's really what it is at first. It's a lot of research. Maybe that's also here coming in with the detective. Um, you know, the detective is all about studying everything, every single detail. And you gotta cut, you gotta have to do that. You really have to do that because of this field. This field is so wide and so very large. You really have to start doing research, okay? About everything. See the, 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 the origin of everything. Where did it come from? Why is this the way it is? So you can fully trust. Because, you know, you're not going to be able to fully trust everything if you don't really understand everything that's going on. Or if you don't fully understand everything that's going on within you. You know, you have to really read up about everything. Everything. Think about oracle cards. Okay, well, why does it work? Why are these oracle cards here? Where do they come from? You know what I'm saying? Like, who invented these? Who wrote this? Where did, why did she write this? You know what I'm saying? You're really going to have to do your research. Me, personally, I'm a very analytical person. I'm very analytical. So, I like to know. And also, like, with me being a journalist, um, that background, I have to... I have to find attribution for everything. I have to find credit for everything or else how can I believe you, right? How can I just fully go into this? I know a lot of... Spirituality, though, is faith, is trust. You have to just kind of believe it a lot of the time and just go with it. And, or else you can't make headway because, you know, spirituality, that's how it moves, faith, right? But you can also bring in that logic and science behind it, that process for you, that practice for you, your study. So you can attribute what you are feeling to something, you know what I'm saying? Like, give it a, a source because th there is a source. We're talking about root chakra here, okay? Your root chakra, there's a source. Don't worry, it's not coming from nothing. Um, you just gotta find it and make, make it make sense for you. Because, like I keep saying, it is your journey. I can't make it make sense for you. No one can make it make sense for you. You have to. I can help you give answers. I can help give answers for you. I can guide. I can help you show where to go. But at the end of the day, you have to make this your own thing. 
but don't worry because you know the world like i'm saying before um the world card i can show it for you right um this is saying that all guides man i'm serious like all these guides all these angels every type of spirituality like vibe all these energies ancestors like these spiritual guides are here for you they're here working for you and waiting for you you know like okay first of all sip hold on my mouth is getting dry mm. by the way tmi by the way but okay so like when i was younger i started braces a lot first of all because my mouth was jacked anyway um i started braces a lot and I also had like a dry mouth, so like a bad breath was like a thing. <laughs> For me, it was so bad. I was like, oh, I didn't even know why, because I so brushed my teeth, you guys. I was like, what the heck? And anyway, I learned if you have like a dry mouth or like naturally dry mouth, it can cause like bad breath. And then I got it from my grandma, so sorry for calling you out, Granny. Anyway, <laughs> so if that's you and you like have that issue, just know, um, keep it hydrated. And it worked, by the way, like now, you know, normal breath or whatever. All right, my breath smells like the tea I drank. <laughs> anyway, um, or onion, because girl, I love onion. Anyway, <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be getting distracted. Okay, but let me say, so with this world card, y'all, I'm for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, feeling so many different types of energies coming for you. And like, I'm not coming for you like oh we gonna get you but like coming for you like they are for you like oh here here you go here you go like there's a lot of influence i feel behind the scenes with your journey and spirituality and your your team and your guide i feel like they really are working for you and working for you to really pick up on this you know what i'm saying like really get into it and learn and pick up on everything that they're trying to send you you know give you messages because I feel like they're ready for you, like they're waiting for you. Not in a sense of like, oh, rush you, like rushing to get, you know, oh, get to where we are. Like we want to do this and this and this with you. But like, I feel like they're waiting. They're like, hey, like work on this because we are waiting for you. We're not going nowhere. Like we're in the waiting room. Like I know you have to get to the, like right now you have to like get ready, get dressed, brush your teeth, go to the car and like get to the place, to the venue. But they want you to do that. Like they want you to get ready. They want you to take your time getting dressed. Okay, they want you to take your time doing your research and getting practice and starting slow. Okay, start slow and a little bit. Little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. They want you to take your time. They want you to do this and get ready because they want to wait for you. They're not going nowhere. They're like, hey, we have all this for you, all these messages, all these promises, but hey, we will wait. We will wait for you. However long that takes because they're not going nowhere. They are faithful and they are like, they're, what's that word? Loyal for you. They're they have faith in you. They, they are faithful for you. They are. They know you can do it. You know you can do it. We know you can do it. I know you can do it. We're all here for you. So don't worry. We're here waiting for you. We're not going nowhere. Okay? Don't worry about it. We're not going nowhere. You can take a break. You can take a break. You can fall off. You'd be like, you know what? Let me just stop for a minute. And we're still not going nowhere. Okay? Um, I feel like they really want you to know that. You're not going to be abandoned. If you let go, they're not going to let go of you. They'll still hold on. They're like, you can let go and it's okay because we love you. This is for you. Do it. Do what's best for you. Do what you need to do because we're going to hold on to you, you know? I know you can let go. You can let go of them. And I hope you don't. I mean, please don't. I mean, or if you do it just a little bit, that's okay. But just know, hey, come back. The bridge. You can always walk the bridge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, this came up before, and I'm kind of getting a similar energy with this other reading. Um, you know, you do have a lot of promise within you. It's so within you. I think you don't really see that. Um, you don't feel, feel all this wisdom and feel all of this knowledge, right? This maturity of approach to research and respect on practice. You know, I don't think you really see that because you haven't really tried it. Um... Yeah, Spirit is really saying you need to start and really go into this. Really go into it. Take a moment. Give yourself time. Give yourself space. Go out into the wilderness. You know, like go to the nature. Go to the nature. I really feel like they really want you to go into nature. This root card, these root chakra energy people, you really need to go into nature a lot. A lot, a lot. 
And and because it's divine for you, you you see the spirituality of it all. I don't know why, like you just see that. Um, like I'm getting like this image, like okay, so I like to drive by this lake I live by, and you know just be by there and just chill. I just I really like it. I enjoy it. Um, and I feel like okay, so when I look out, I look out and see the water and you know the sparkle on the surface, um, the breeze. And the clouds, how they move in the sky, and the birds. You know, you, you, you see everything, right? And I feel like I'm kind of tapping into a little bit, but I feel like you guys, like, you really see the energy of it all. Like, you see the divineness of it all, for real. Is this crooked? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know. I need to leave it alone. I know, but I just, I can't. I have, like, I need a camera person to be like, okay, yeah, you look good. <laughs> or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the angle is good. Anyway. Hold on. I'm picking, I'm, yeah, when I'm, like, low-key doing this, I'm low-key kind of reading, too. I'm, like, picking up energy. Instead of me just doing like this. <laughs> um, because, look, because I kind of want to do that. I'm like, let me just sift through. It's like, I'm swimming through the energy. Let me see what's going on here. Anyway. So, let me just, let me just do my thing. Let me do my thing, y'all. Let me loud. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay. There is a water message for you, which we will get into, but I'm feeling, like, first, so we need to, I need to finish. So when you, so, okay, when I see the nature, I see the nature in a vibe, I'm like, okay, yeah, I see it, get it there. But I feel like you guys, you really see, you see, I don't know, I can't even fully explain it because I don't see what you see. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I kind of, I'm getting a vibe of what you see, like, because I'm right now, I'm tapping, I'm tapping into you, like, and what I, I can understand from you, like, so I can't explain what you see, uh... I feel like you just see the energy, you see the divine, you see it. That's all I can say, because I don't, I can't, I can't explain because I can't, I don't. That's not my vibe. I don't, I, I don't, you know? But I think you can, and I think that's really important for you. And Spirit is saying to hold on to that and keep looking in for that. Keep looking into that. You will see the truth. You will see, you will see something. You will see. I don't know. Guys, I'm sorry I can't tell you more information. I'm wanting to. Like, I want to tell you more specifically, more detail, but I can't because that's not my ability. I can't. Um, I'm trying. I don't know. It's like some, maybe it's a color or something. You, 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 you feel slash see this color vi divine vibe, di vibration. I can't even take I can't even talk it out loud, like I can't even speak it. I don't know. This isn't my ability. I'm trying to tap into someone else's ability right now. Um Okay, let me just maybe just trust that. Whatever it is, they're saying that's such a strong, 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 good energy vibe for you. It's really apparent. Really, really apparent for you. Um And this, you know, when you have these together. Emperor mixed with high priestess. First of all, I feel like, okay, for one person, oh god, damn, I just said that. Um, yeah, I'm so channeling right now. I'm I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just I'm channeling, giving you message. So whatever works for you, whatever you hear, that's what you're supposed to hear. I'm just talking this, okay? So with this person, you really feel like this person because I don't feel like this is you, I'm getting this a whole other person. You Okay, hold on. Let me This person gives you a new perspective, new light, new direction. You really like being around them, looking at them, talking with them. Um, that they're, they're like there's a presence, you know, like God. Y'all, real tea sometimes reading for me is weird. Like I just I get the vibe and I get the feeling and I'm like, what the heck is this? What's going on? And like I low-key, low-key, low-key get frustrated a little bit, a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit with frustrated with spirit because I'm like, spirit, what are you telling me? <laughs> You know, you guys, because, like, at the end of the day, I'm, like, I'm a normal person, like, real talk. I'm, like, I just be living life, and then sometimes you get a lot of these weird vibes and energies. And anyway, okay. So, because I, I really do feel, like, I feel like this is you, and this is someone else entirely. You know? This is not you. So why are you here? Why is this person here? I feel like... Hmm... Like, I look, you kind of want to pause maybe the video right now. 
um, and maybe get more message because I feel like there's more. Um, okay, let me just, okay, I'm gonna, give me a second to read. You can, I'll try to put my hands back on screen and be like, hey, okay, come back in the message. Um, all right, okay, I'll just pause the video really fast. I'll be right back. Let me just get this vibe. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Ugh. Okay, I had to get the message here. Okay, so, with this card, because, you know, I'm, I was reading you. I'm pulling on your vibe, your energy, everything, your guides, people, but this was something else entirely. So, what, I've got, what I got here with this High Priestess card, this isn't you. This is, like, one of your guides, your spiritual guides. Now, let me go on the list, because, you know, I'm reading for different people, a lot of different people, so, you know, you take what vibes for you, whatever resonates with you, whatever you, you feel that your soul kind of picks up and sparks on, right? So it could be one, an ancestor. It could be one, an angel. It could be one, a spiritual deity that, you know, it's just here or whatever. Um, a spiritual deity that can manifest in real life or has manifested as a person in real life for you. Or it could be spirit itself, the divine, kind of like coming in, pulling you messages for you. It could also be um, a different being, like... <laughs> for y'all who are wawa out there who believe in this or spiritual i feel like it could be like <laughs> like an alien hello like what i don't know you guys i'm just reading i'm just i just get the message i'm just the messenger leave me alone <laughs> but some type of alien vibe i'm getting a really alien vibe i don't know why maybe it's from a different planet or a different i don't know guys i really don't know okay i've never done this before <laughs> but i'm getting this vibe from you it's it's, it could be an alien. I don't know. I don't know. And when I say alien, it's not like, you know, this green Martian up in the skies or like in a spaceship. I can't, I think it's just, you know, from a different vibe, from a different planet, from a different place. You know, it's just this something that's from a different place. It can be a different dimension. It can be in our own dimension from a different place. And it's just a different vibe. I don't know. Just, just that's all I got from this card. Like I've got this, this outside influence here for this card. It's just really big outside influence for you. Um, and I feel like they really want to talk to you. They really do. They really, really, really want to talk to you. About a lot of different things. Um, for different reasons. You know, different people have different reasons. Different paths, right? So send me off, guys. I want to talk to you about career and love relationships. On top of, so I want to talk to you about school and education. Someone want to talk to you about your spiritual journey. Like, it's different. It's different for a lot of you, you know? Maybe that's why I have to like stop and pause because I have to. I got a lot. It's different. For, this is really different. Um, and maybe that's how you can recognize spiritual energies or like this spiritual energy is coming in differently. You know, it's just something, something different. You're like, what? This is different. Okay, this is maybe, and you're gonna maybe pick up on like, okay, this is this is that energy. This is the energy that Angel is talking about. You know, and you're gonna have to listen up and see what they have to say writing a lot of it can come through writing um your own writing like automatic writing for one people for some people dream writing spiritual issue or like aspirational writing like things you want they can come into what you like really really want i think they're trying to not necessarily take over like your inner heart or soul but like they're part of you in a sense so where like they like they've attached themselves to you not in a bad way guys this is look it's the priestess it's the most highest spiritual card you know what i'm saying she rules over all the spirituality so do not worry it's not malicious at all it's all good it's all divine it's for you if you believe in god it's approved by god so it's okay you're okay if you don't believe in god and you believe in universe it's at least balanced enough to where the universal energies and spirit is allowing this to happen allowing this outside influence to be a part of you and like install themselves into your life and spirituality life and everything um and they're trying to give this attention for you to like really start something or change something i don't know they're really trying to give you this message um something they're trying to tell you like it's different i think you gotta look into that And like, okay, also like the numerology part, the two is a part of the four, right? It goes into you. It's well part of together. It's all coalescing. It's a, it's a balance. It matches. Matches well. Black pillar, white pillar. Okay, look at that balance. All right, it's all balanced. It's all good. And we'll bring you balance and where that stability. See that balance, stability, guys, root chakra. Maybe that's what this outside influence is calling you to do. Go out into the nature and really focus so you can listen to them. Hear them. So you don't have all this outside distraction and influence, right? Um, I 
Yeah, I think they just have a lot to say to you. And really help you and just push you forward and like be part of you. Like they're like, hey, let's go to let's do this. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to the Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're saying like when you start to listen to them, they're going to bring you into like this a lot of work. They're going to bring you a lot of work to do um, in your life, you know, in your spiritual life. I think a little bit in your like waking life too, like the work you have to do. But a lot of it, you know, it's a high priestess of spiritual card. So anyway, um, a lot of practice. They're going to bring you a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. Slowly, step by step, practice, 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 practice. Um, and you know, with the five, okay, you know, the five is all about, uh, uh, change, you know, big change in tarot and numerology, everything, okay, so anyway, um, that five, this, this practice, right, you know, every step change, it's a change, you know, you're, you're changing into, like, who you're supposed to be, like, who you really are, you know, authentically, true child divine self, you know what I'm saying? Every step. It's a little bit of change for the good, for the better. You're just, and you're going to feel it. You're going to know. You're like, wow, I'm doing this now. I'm doing that now. Like, this is crazy. This is great. Um, this is awesome. Sips. No, it's just like centered. <laughs> I know I keep asking that, but I'm sorry. I don't know. I can't see it. Okay. Is this better? I know, I guess I keep moving things. I don't know. I'm just reading. Okay. I'm kind of getting that's it for that. Okay, let's pull two um, of these miracle, miracle, mirror oracle cards. Okay, we can call them miracle cards. Let's call them miracle cards. Let's pull two miracle cards. Let's see what happens. Because I know two want to come out, but actually, let me... Um, I hope your day's well, or has gone well. Um, I got a lot to do for my day. I gotta go to the store, take care of my mama. She's not feeling well, y'all. Pray for her. Pray for her little health. Pray for her well-being, please. Hello. <laughs> I already got the next. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I got the message. Oh my god. God damn it. Okay, sorry. Mm. So. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry, I'm stalling Loki. I'm like, what the F, man? What the F? <laughs> what do I have to say this? Yo, what do I have to say this, man? Come on, come on, really? Ugh. Sorry, I'm stalling for real, man. Because you know, when you're a tarot reader, you gotta, you gotta get the message. You're the messenger, so you gotta say the message. <laughs> Even if it's embarrassing. Okay, fine, fine. <sighs> okay, so. In spirituality, in everything. Okay, so you know we're talking about energies, right? So sexuality, like energy is a thing. It's real. Sexual energy is real and you can use it in your practice, okay? I'm sorry, I know I keep moving everything, but like I want you guys to be able to see everything. Can I zoom out? I'm still stalling, by the way. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, first of all, we just gonna be obvious. First of all, spontaneous sex. Let's talk about that. And then let's talk about 27, 28. Okay, let's talk about that too. Because like, we have to go in order. Hello, 27, 28, you know. Um, guys, I'm like stalling. I don't, like, I'm low-key stopping myself from like channeling this message right now because it's just kind of embarrassing. Um, and whatever, but we're gonna have to get into it. Don't worry, it's gonna be like PG. Where to start though? Where to start? Um, Thing. Because Loki guys, really too, I felt this with the root chakra energy because, you know, it's 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 there, but 
I didn't want to really go into it because I was like, oh, maybe not. Maybe we're not going to go this way. But Spirit's like, oh, hello. I'm sorry. I'm still stalling. I'm sorry. Okay. And, you know, you're going to have to do your own research on this as well. Because I'm not an expert, like, at all. But I just started looking into this. Like, like research. Just reading about it, okay? I'm not telling you about my personal life right now. Okay. So, let's talk about sacral chakra. You know, I mentioned it before. Root chakra. Hello. Sacral chakra go hand in hand, right? Roots chakra is all about, you know, what you see. Your physical life, 3D, bet. Sacral chakra is the spirituality right on top of that. Because, you know, in, in, um, in the, um, well, I don't know what the word is for, or like the word is called, but, you know, in the chakras, right, the alignment at least, or like how they're set up, it's like root chakra is the base, like at your tailbone, and then like above that, kind of like in the groin, crotch area, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like right above that. Um, is the sacral chakra and it's orange, right? Isn't it crazy how these, these are both orange too? My god. I know like in the other reading like in the oral cards or oracle cards It was also both of these orange, but Um, y'all I'm like stalling still cuz I'm like it's such Okay, when you are going into sexuality Vibe type things and you know what I'm talking about when I say that Um, Loki you can try to make it more of a spiritual practice. Um, and, you know, I did talk about it before how, like, you know, you are blessed with your body and, like, it's all of its sensations. Um, and the limits, you know, you, your body can do so much. The human body is amazing. It's amazing. Um, and, you know, don't be, please explore that. Please explore your own body. Like, see your, your own limits. See how it can take you. Whether that be sexually or in a gym. Or, you know, artistically with that, you know. Because you know, um, it's not just about the the sex practice itself. It's it's the vibe, the energy with that, that connection, that physical connection with yourself. But and, and that is the roots, that physical, but also spiritual wise, like um um motive, okay? Um um what else? Like um that initiation that what started this, like and this this is difficult for me because I haven't really done this a lot really, but I have to talk about it, like I have to channel this. Like, okay, really I'm telling you what the spirit is saying. Um, okay. Along your personal sexual journey, whatever that looks like for you, um, okay, don't be like, you can think like, oh no, I don't want, you know, spirits and angels like, you know, watching me or with me in this, in your own space or whatever, but there are different types of energies, okay, at least. Maybe not spirits who, if you want to be here on your own, you know, they're not going to intrude, be like, ooh, what you doing, boo? Like, no. They, I mean, they want you to experience and be happy and be like, yes, go for it. Like, have fun, do what you got to do. But, like, at the same time, um, when you're going into your spiritual practice, I feel like, at least for you guys, I feel like you feel like a lot of your sexuality can be, like, used or, like, strong for your spiritual practice or whatever. Um, look into tantric uh, yoga and... Okay, so I can say that and um, see the different aspects of that practice, how it can ground you, you know, to the physical world. Maybe you would feel too much in this spirituality. You need to feel like you need to be back grounded. Look into look into your sexuality and see how that can be grounding for you. See the different practices for that. Okay? And don't be afraid to try different things. Come on, be spontaneous. Just be like, if you feel like one day you're like, oh my god, I really feel like I want to do this. I really got to do this. Then do it! Okay? I mean, if you're in a safe space, of course, don't get arrested. <laughs> um, please don't, don't get caught if you're trying not to get caught. I mean, if you're trying to get caught by the people you're trying to get caught by, then do what you got to do. But, um, like, no judgment here. I'm not going to judge you <laughs> at all. Do what you got to do. It's you. This is your journey. I'm just here. <laughs> Give me this message. Um, <laughs> guys, what the heck? Okay, anyway, so, and then see how that might bring you to, you know, if you are with another person like this, okay, like, uh, like I said before, it's a list for different people, but if a lot of these other people, they, they bring you a lot of spirituality, and if you want to connect with them that way, spiritually slash sexually like or you feel like there's a connection there or you want it to be there or it has to be there first or whatever whatever it is for you whatever the message is for you but you feel that connection you feel that some type of bridge whatever look into that because it's real it's out there um there's ways to spiritually connect sexually um different what types of ways and different ways to explore that for real all different types of ways to explore that so you know <laughs> 
do what you gotta do. Like, look into it, okay? It's out there, it's real. I know no one really talks about it because, I don't know, maybe it can be taboo or whatever, but um, there's that. There's Kundalini from Divine Femme Energy out there. Uh, what else? Uh, I think there's more. Um, I mean, there's one word that comes to mind, but like, I don't know. Honestly, well, whatever. I did my own research too. Kama Sutra, look into that too. Um, it's, it's, there's just a lot out there. So like, look into like spiritual, like maybe your word is spiritual sex or spiritually sexual or whatever. Like, look into that and see what you can find. Because I think you maybe need, will find a lot of your answers. I think you have a lot of questions and you want to find a lot of answers there. Cause you know, like like I said before, how I'm like, oh, you know, spirituality is like a, such a big thing, and yes, it is a divine pure thing. But know that your bodies are divine and pure too. Um, if you believe in God, you know God made you. <laughs> He's divine. He knows what He made. He knows what parts He put on you and the sensations that come with it. Okay, but you know, you just gotta treat yourself right with respect. Okay, with love. Mm? Okay, listen, listen, people, treat yourself, your body, with respect and love. That's all I gotta say. That's all spirit has to say. It's your body. It's your temple. Your temple. Think of it that way. Treat your temple right. Do it the right way. Give it. Give your temple what it needs in the right way. Do right. Okay, let's get your... Oh, man. Low-key too, y'all. Like, okay, I was kind of getting like kind of a ooh, saucy vibe um, earlier when I was even just putting down the uh, bath bombs. Because, I mean, okay, if, like... For my non, you I don't want to sound offensive. For my silly, like maybe naughty, naughty, naughty people out there, I was like getting ready to put them here, and I was like, hold on, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do. If you picked up on it, you got what I'm saying. If you did it, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, so I was, but that's what gave me the vibe. I was like, what's going on here? What's nah, 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 nah. Because guys, like I really do gotta get some vibes before I even start the reading. But I'd be like. No, it's fine, it's fine. But you cannot be doubting spirit. Spirit's gonna come out, especially if you like really seek it out. Okay. Let's get your verse cards. Oops, this one fell in the water. And we'll get you on your way. Look, like I said, look. And we were talking about something else, like in a different type of sexual kind of like reading. I was like, make it wet. And what happened? Another card like fell into the water to make it wet. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, if you are not 18, and this is fine, don't worry about what I'm saying, but if you are, you know what I'm saying, it's fine, whatever. We all grow here, oh, hopefully. <laughs> um. Okay, let's get one you. And maybe one more, actually. I'm kind of getting one more verse. Do we need to, oops, not all of you. Do we need to look into, do we? Eh, we'll just read these three. Maybe I want to read, okay, maybe I'm, I want to read this. This is what I want to read. Okay, where do I want to start? Let's start here. Psalms 42, God set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. Okay, yeah. First of all, know that along this journey, like I'm saying, the spirit will hold on to you no matter what, like you are good. Solid ground, were we not just talking about roots and like literally going into earth and being like touching dirt? <laughs> Literally do that though, like, first of all, that's just, um, like, like a good mental health practice for some reason, you know, that's, I think, like, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of old people, older people like gardening, it's just, it's, it's a, it's such a calming, healing, good practice, just physically feeling and getting your fingers in the dirt, you know, it's just, it's just naturally good for you, uh, mental health wise, but then spiritually, it's good for you too, so, you know, go for it, it's all good, it's all healthy, um, what else, there's more here, what else? What else? There's this more. This was more. God set my feet on solid ground instead of me as I walked along. We already said spirit got you as you walk along. Yeah, you really get out to that nature. Please be open. I think they really, really, really want you to do this. This looking into that, going out. Mm hmm. And being out in nature. Like, really, like. I don't even know if you should be even listening to music and having earbuds at this time. You know what I'm saying? Like. I think you really just gotta just sit and listen to nature, like, for real. You know, of course there are messages in music, of course, but like, that can really distract you from this brute. Like, we're going to the root here, okay? You need to go to the root, nothing else. The root, the bottom, grounded, solid ground, okay? I'm saying, like, 
Listen, y'all might even need to get barefoot out here, okay? Look, do this practice. You need to get into it. No other distractions, just you and spirit and like what what's very created and everything, universe, energy, everything. Just be like, okay, I'm here. They, like let, show and let and make yourself be present, fully present. Okay, Philippians four thirteen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah, guys, like guys, guys, like listen to your guides. They're here for you. Like and listen to them. They're here for you. They got the support. Look, they're not going nowhere. The world. They're saying they want to be here for you more fully. That that's why this world card I think I'm getting is like reverse, and because sometimes yeah, guys, like like I get a card. You know, cards be falling out, and like it comes. You know, accidents or life happens. Gravity. And, happen so sometimes they flip upside down and you're like nah it needs to be right side up but here it needs to stay this way because i'm feeling that they're, they're this you're not there you're not fully connected yet you're trying to get there and it's okay like don't rush it just know here's here's the practice what you need to do to do that okay um uh oh any age what book was any age ne nez nezer ooh ooh y'all ooh, ooh hold on nezer Ooh, okay, give me a second. Let me go get my Bible. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. My bad Christian over here. Let me. Y'all, which book starts with N? Ugh. I don't know. I want to say Ness or Ryder, Nick. Ness something. Hold on. And it's not numbers. Where'd it go? Hold on. Nahum. Nahum. Have y'all heard of that book in the Bible before? Nehemiah. 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 Y'all, whatever, however you pronounce this um, card, it's it's chapter 8, verse 10. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, spirit, I hear you. Y'all, okay, look, first of all, they're reiterating. But look, okay, I'd like to do like these first cards at the end because like it's like the final message to take with you, you know what I'm saying? Um, while you go, bye. <laughs> but um, really fast. So when you tap into this, like we're talking about like the childhood, like magic and energy, right? Know that that is the strength. That is the power, that joy, and it's that good, it's that easy. Like, y'all, when I'm saying everything is so good and so much love, like that is, that is the power. Like that is the strength. Um, there is this song I really like. It's called uh, the G Code or the Goddess Code. And I forget the um, artist who created this piece or this music. But um, I love it. And look it up. It's actually a really good song for affirmation, for spirituality, everything. I mean, yeah, it's like, oh, you know, goddesses, medicine, women. It's like a lot of female energy. But if you're a dude, hey, tap into the message. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have both feminine and masculine energy in you. Anyway, anyway, let me take a sip. Um, when you go in this with good vibes, happy energy, like, happy, like, when you go in, it's like, hey, we're about to get into it, that, it, it makes it work that much better, everything becomes so much stronger and clearer and faster, like, it's just, when you go at this with, like, let's have fun, you know, all of spirituality, like I say, yes, it is very deep, but it's so much fun, it's so good, and it's good of high energy and vibes, like, like, okay, when I first started, I thought, like, when I was, I have to be, like, super serious. Like, okay, I have to have this time and this space ready. I have to have my mind ready, you know? Be open and be like, yes. Okay, spirit, I am serious. We are going to get into this. I'm going to get the message. You know, that's what I really, really thought. But, like, y'all, it's not like that. <laughs> I mean, it is if you want it to be, and then that's how you for real operate, and that's how you just are, and, like, you are that serious principle. Like, okay, then, bad. Like, do what you got to do. But it, most people operate with more humor or i mean not, not, not saying like necessarily the people who are like very serious don't have humor but i'm just saying like most people nowadays like don't take most a lot of people don't think you have to take everything so seriously and deep you know what i'm saying like me now you know before i'd be like okay spirit guides everyone you know i'd be like super serious and like please come through and i ask all that you know what i'm saying like and i kind of do still like these days when i'm like when it's necessary but nowadays I'm like, spirit, y'all, what's the tea? Like, tell me what messages, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be you, like, they really just want you to, because they know you. 
Like, you can't, who are you fooling? <laughs> who are you fooling? Yourself? Cause like spirit, you come from spirit. You come from source. They made you, like it, it's made from, you were made from it. Like they know you, they know you. They know your inner thought, like they know you. So don't front, don't be playing. If it's sexual with you, be sexual. They know, they're like, yes, go for it. You're made for like, you have your, you, everything part of you is made for, you are set up for success, okay? You're made for success. You are literally like what's parts of you, like parts of you, you're made to have success for your life. You know what I'm saying? Like how everyone has their journey, like everyone has like the mission for being here. Um, um, like you're made, like you're you're equipped with following, like uh, uh, what's it? completing that mission. You know? Sorry, my English, guys. <laughs> um. Even though, like, I'm a native speaker, I've lived many places. Me leave me alone. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I'm saying, <laughs> um, what am I saying? Crap, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, well, what we were saying before, you know, I'm, maybe I'm just repeating myself now. Um, have fun and be you. Be authentic. Just be authentic. Cause that's what they want. That's what spirit wants from you, and and pushes for you. Let it yes be you. Do it, okay. If you wanna, I don't know, shuffle the cards and like fling one, and that be the card. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like literally, just do what you gotta do. Okay. With that, I thank you so much for being here, and I hope this all resonated for you and can help you with your future. I wish success and happiness for you, and I cannot wait to see you again. Alrighty, bye bye. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Pile 2 My Witch Angel reading! How you guys doing? Uh, all of you had a great reading for Pile 1, and I'm so excited for this one as well. Okay, y'all, disclaimer. I've never read this card before. I know I said it before, but let me say, let me see. Okay, again, Samaritan Light Attribute refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Shadow Attribute exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just like really studying this card because I've never really looked at this before. I think I like saw it, glimpsed at it when I first got this deck, but like this has never come out in a reading, so I'm just, I'm just really looking at this picture. <laughs> I guess you guys need to look at it too, huh? This is your reading, isn't it? I should just read the message, maybe not stare at it. Sorry, okay, hi. <laughs> Welcome to your reading. If you're new to My Witch Angel, um, this the vibe, we kind of just, we just be getting into it. We ratchet it here and you're welcome here. So what's good? Hi. Um, okay. So like I do, I like to read um, the overarching message first. This see if it resonates with you and you know, to make sure that you are in the right place um, or the right pile at least. And if you are, great, stick around. If you're not, go ahead and check out another pile or a different video and um, see what other messages that spirit may have for you. Okay, so right off the bat, though, why do I want to spin this so much? Isn't that cool? Woo! Okay, sorry. Woo! Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, really fast, a lot of playful energy with you guys. <laughs> a lot, a lot of playful energy. Um, and, and I'm getting that with a lot of different types of people. You just like to have good times with a lot of different different people, different types of people, making people laugh, humorous. You know, you guys are really humorous people. Um, making jokes, uh, raising vibes like that, like making people laugh. You like giggles. You love you love to hear the people giggle. You're like, yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I made you laugh. <laughs> and that makes you happy. You love being able to share good humor with other people. That's such a strong strength for you. Um, I really find like you really tap into the humor of life and like the humor around you, the humor of bad situations. You just find the humor of everything. You're like, y'all, this funny. <laughs> it could be anything. I don't know, but you'd be finding everything funny. Y'all laugh too much. Y'all be laughing a lot. You okay? I don't necessarily. I don't really mean you laugh too much. You can. I don't know if you really can ever laugh too much, but you really laugh a lot, and I like that. That's great. Mhm. Mm and you know what, like with this yellow energy, I'm getting a lot of good just solar plexus energy from you guys. It's just, it's just, ah, it shines through. It's energizing, it's great. You are your, this, you are your own sun. You are the sun. You just bring shine and happiness to people. You just be like, shine, 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 sparkle, sparkle. You know, strong, strong sparkle. Solar is plexus energy here. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And you know, like in pile one, we were like, ooh, root chakra energy here with this red here, but I'm not really getting that a lot with you guys. I feel like maybe you are pretty much in tune with the world around you already. You know, you're good. Um, ah, sorry. 
Um, what else am I getting here? Good humor. Very, very good humor. Eh. We'll continue. We'll see what happens. Mm. Am I getting more? Outreach. All of good outreach. You want to outreach to people to be like, what's up? Ah. Maybe you want to be like, hey, 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 what's good, you guys? Hey, everyone. Maybe you want to be like that. You like to, you know, necessarily like be on a stage and be on a program, but you like to have a lot of outreach to a lot of people. You like to like give to a lot of a lot of people, you know? You like to give humor and energies and just be like, to, like, hey, everyone, how are you doing? How are you, like, are you good? Hello, welcome. Like, kind of like me, you know? You're like, hello. You love that vibe. You love giving that vibe. Mmm, makes me so happy. Okay, so a lot of you maybe are influencers or want to be an influencer or just have a lot of influence for a lot of people and can really go for that, you know, really use that in your life. You can be on YouTube or TikTok or Facebook, you know, you like to have a good... Maybe you do have a good influence already. Just people will just tap in. Um. Mm, okay, I'm not really getting a lot of other energies from there. So, if that resonates with you, hello, hi, welcome, you're in the right place. You funny, tell me some jokes. <laughs> um, but also, um, if you're not, if that didn't really, really... Nah, I feel like a lot of people who chose this, yeah, this resonates with you. Okay, um, let's go and pull our oracle cards first. Our miracle, miracle, our mirror oracle. I might just start calling these my miracle cards. Why not? Oop, hi. Oh, goodness gracious. Did not need these. Actually, do I want these? Nah. I do want this one for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, my allergies are getting better though. Have you noticed I'm like coughing a lot less? You're welcome. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna kind of keep you up here. I have the same thing y'all can't see. Is this crooked? Oh, I knew this was tilted. Dang, uh, oh my gosh. Ugh, sorry. I just, I really want everything to be visible, you know? And not like, not crooked. Okay, is that better? Okay. Um, okay, we'll just have this in the middle for now. I'll put choice there. Ooh, look, it's a maze. Did you guys see this? You know, these cards are new for me. I haven't really like looked into detail with a lot of these, so. <laughs> Just notice that. Cool. Alrighty. Um, let's get the other one. Oops. Mm, I feel like these do have messages for you, but maybe we'll get into that later. We'll start with that one for now. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm reading right now. Like, I, low key, guys. Like, when I'm like moving cards around, I'm like doing that or doing this. Like, I'm both. Like, cause look, overall, I'm barely doing anything. I'm barely moving these cards. But somehow, like these motions, like touching it or whatever, like kind of like gets me the reading. I don't know. Um, <laughs> low key, like starting these YouTube videos and like seeing and like rewatching some of them, or really all of them. Like at least after I upload to make sure it like, goes okay. Oh, which by the way, I think like my previous video, the end cut off like really fast, so if you experience that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, like, literally, like, when I'm doing this, I'm, like, reading. And I, didn't, I did not know I did that, like, until I saw my YouTube video. I'm like, why do I, I keep touching these cards? Like, stop touching them. But, like, when I'm doing this, now that I'm noticing I'm doing it, I'm like, this is helping me read. And I'm, like, low-key getting message as I do this. Um, okay, so anyway, so I feel like maybe a lot of you need to trust yourself or, like, Trust your emotions, you know, like little your literal emotions when you're trying to tap in. Or, hold on. Hold on. Movement. Movement energy. A lot of moving. Moving, moving. What is what's going on? What is this? What am I playing on? Okay, I feel like a lot of you are dancers or can really dance, you know, um, with this movement. But I feel like a lot of the way you move, the way you move is energetic and what is this? What is going on? Guys, I'm so like channeling right now. I haven't even done this yet. I'm still channeling this, I think. Um, a lot of this 
back and forth. A lot of you busy people, like, a lot of you have, like, yeah, a lot of good energy, a lot of happy, happy energy. Ding, 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 ding. Um, you know, I think that's like abundant within you, you know, that it's just, it's comes forth between you. You know, that's a lot of the solar plexus energy too. You know, a lot of this is just that good energy. You know, a lot of people may ask you like, oh, you know, you're so energetic. Wow, I really have this good energy from you, you know, good vibes from you. A lot of that is solar plexus, you know, just shine. It's a shining energy. It's the solar, it's like literally the solar energy, like the sun has or is solar plexus energy. And, you know, I think that's why, like, a lot of other readings, you know, I'm like, guys, like, or, like, a lot of some of you who pick up on that, at least, or maybe, like, you guys, too, at this pile, like, soak up sun. Get in that sun energy, you know? It's really good for you. Really, really good for you. Like, yes, healthy-wise, like, physical-wise, skin and body, but also spiritual-wise. It just re-energizes you. It's so good for you. The sun. Let the sun shine. Um... And sometimes if it's cloudy, like right now it's cloudy today, even still, like that's still light. It's still sunlight. Pick up on that. Channel that. Let it shine, like soak it up. Take in light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry I just pulled these and I've not even read them yet, but I'm still getting a lot of this for you guys. Um, Creative endeavor. So maybe it is with your dance or a lot of your movement. I don't know. Something with movement. And, you know, you, these guys or these girls, these ladies, these people are moving, right? So maybe there's something with movement for you. Something's important. Movement. Moving. Mover. Moving. Maybe a lot of you are moving and you want to move or want to move. How, get a mover. Move somewhere. Moving mover. Moving mover. Okay, yes. A lot of you um, have the spiritual ability of placing energies in different places. Like, how can I explain? Because Loki, I'm just picking this up. I don't even really know what this ability is. What? You guys are good at moving, placing energies in different. Like, you're good at taking an energy, putting it here, placing this energy here, putting this energy there. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god, I got the vibe! Okay, you guys, so, a lot of you guys, okay, look, if you're not into witchcraft or, like, practice and magic and stuff, um, and please do not be afraid of that witchcraft word. I know there's, like, so much, like, negative connotation with that, but literally all it means is practice. I mean, literally, that's it. And give me practice, like, I mean, okay, witch, witch craft unquote unquote and i'm like i don't even know if i should keep saying that maybe i should use a different terminology magic practice spiritual practice maybe that's better i don't know um but when you i think when you actually go into this and look into it i think the term right now is still spiritual like witchcraft or like so okay i'm gonna say spiritual craft but you get what i mean anyway so in spiritual crafts right um hold on so I think a lot of, so, you know, a lot of spiritual craft, a lot of spirituality, a lot of everything, it's all energy, right? It's all frequency, movement, everything. Um, or at least that's like a really big part of it. It's like the flow, right? You know, we talked about water flow of energy. That is the flow. Um, okay, and I think you really good are, you're, you really are good at picking up on that flow and the different types of energies and frequencies around you. Um... And it can be different things. Like, for instance, like, on one hand, you can feel like, okay, this energy is, is angelic, for instance, right? You're like, this is a light, pure, angelic energy. This is just a good, positive, happy energy. This is a, a lustful, like, romantic energy, you know? Like, I think you really are good at, play, like, picking up on those and placing them in different places. Um, I'm seriously, I seriously don't even really know what that means, because I kind of, I don't even think I've done that, or, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm just... This is a first time for me, so I'm telling you just what I'm picking up on right now. So I feel like a lot, of, I feel like a lot of you are low-key like witches in that sense, to where you can like set off a lot of good spells for people, um, or like a lot of good prayers. Because you know, look, okay, spell and prayer can be the same thing. It really is. It really is. Like different words. Anyway, so for instance, my spiritual people, all about God and everything. Like when you pray, for instance, like when you pray health for others, like you pray someone get over their lung sickness or something that is really powerful at least from you i don't know somehow you pick up on like maybe you feel excuse me excuse me 
Excuse me, excuse me, y'all. I'm taking my tea and it makes me burp. Cheers. Um, it's salted caramel. I'm like, I taste the caramel. But it doesn't taste salted though. I think I'm like, I might add some salt to this tea, y'all. Ooh, can I do that? Should you do that? Not like a lot, but like a little pinch. So it's like at least salted caramel. Okay, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Anyway, yo, like if you do that though, let me know in the comments or message to me, be like, hey, try it. Anyway, or don't try it. I don't know. Anyway, so, right. You are, maybe you like feel that healing energy like within you and like you feel that vibe like, wow, I just feel this healing. I feel it. I feel it. I feel like I can heal this person or like I feel like I can send this healing to someone else. You know, um, do that. Like send, literally send that healing to someone else. Be like, and if you are spiritual practice, it can be a prayer. Like, you know, God, like I pray that, you know, heal this person. I send this, you know, intention for them. I pray this healing over their body and their soul and their mind. Like make it regress. You know what I'm saying? Like pick up on that energy and use that, send that for them. Because I think that's really strong for you. A lot of you, you know, um, and it could be like, it could be a romantic thing. Like you can feel like a really romantic vibe within you. Like, wow. Um, I really want to show this person like I really have affection or care for them and you know you can do like a prayer or a magic spell for that like I just you know I want to send this vibe like I want to send this energy towards this one person and be like hey I love you I care about you I want I want you like whatever you know what I'm saying you know whatever you know whatever okay you might want to do a b and c with you okay um I feel like it's a really strong ability with you guys really good at taking energy and placing it here um, I feel like I really, a lot of you guys need to get into charms as well. Like, I've been really getting into charms and, like, charming things and putting blessings over things. Um, I mean, that's what I really do. It's like, I mean, I call it charm because, I mean, it's just cute. Like, come on, charms, charming. Um, and like, oh yeah, I charmed this or I'm wearing a charm. Like, I just, I think it's just really cute personally. But really, at the end of the day, it's a blessing. Um, you put a blessing over something. Look. I mean, that's what you're really, like, okay, I believe in God and, like, and everything. So that's just what it is for me. That's the truth for me. I know maybe not resonate with you and that's okay. That's just, that's just where I'm coming from, okay? So you can understand where I'm coming from. Um, and, you know, it's because it's all a blessing. It's like, you know, I bless, bless this bath bomb to rejuvenate skin and everything. And even though I might do that already, it might just have that little extra kick. You don't know unless you try. Do it. It is your choice. Okay, now we're getting into these oracle cards. Yo, real tea, y'all. I'm not. Oh, we're getting to expression as well. That's what it is. We're getting into it. Maybe you picked up on it. Hopefully you did. If you didn't, that's fine. I'll tell you now. So, that is part of your expression. Um, like, literally express the energies that you pick up on and feel. Be like, okay, hold on. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling mischievous. Okay, who needs to be mischievous? Like, maybe you're feeling someone else is mischievous, or maybe you are mischievous. I don't know, you're picking up on it, though. This mischievous energy. You want to play. It's time to play around with something. Maybe you want to prank somebody and make them happy, make them joke, right? Make them laugh. And be like, ooh, you know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling this vibe. Let me, let me go over here and, like, throw a rock. At, or not throw a rock, but throw, I don't know, um, like a, like a, I just said rock because I saw this rock here of my rock. Uh, I don't know. Throw a stuffed animal at somebody be like, Got you be, you know what I'm saying? Like, just this playful energy. You can pick up on that and, like, give it to somebody. You know? Mm-hmm. 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 There's different ways that can come in, of course. You know, with this expression card. You know, um, there's different ways you can do that and express that. It can be just a simple prayer. It can be, um, a gesture for somebody. You know, for me personally, like, when I wish blessings for other people, sometimes I literally do, like, the cross for others. <laughs> <laughs> Even sometimes like people sneeze, I'm like, and like half the time, I just be lazy. I don't feel like saying bless you. I'm like, girl, bless. Or like they wouldn't hear me. Like they'd be someone far away and I can't say bless you out loud to them and have them hear it and whatever. So I'm like, bless you back. You know, here. You know what I'm saying? Like just that. And that can be enough for you. It's whatever way you express, okay? But it's like, it's really whatever way you want to express. It's your choice. And, okay, with this maze imagery now I'm getting, because before I was like, I'm like, usually the mazes can be confusing, right? You have to find your way through it, which, I mean, there is a message in that way. You have to kind of find your way through this, and, but I'm not getting that a lot for you. That was more pile one. For you guys, it's more of just, because you kind of, I think you really do trust yourself already. You kind of just be doing you. You do you, and that's so good. That's great. Do you. Um, 
So when you do, like, you, it is so your choice to go that way. And then, hey, maybe Kapchagi, which is like, you know, suddenly slash randomly in Korean. You want to go that way. And you're doing this, and you're like, okay, this is fun. And now I want to go this way. Kapchagi, let's go. You know, don't be afraid of, like, oh, I have to make this big choice. You can go this way, and hey, you can go back and try this. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, you know, you're not stuck in this one point in the maze. And just because you went this way doesn't mean you have to continue going only that way. You can go back. You can always go back. You can always try to, oh, you can always, just always do. You can always have the choice, all right? It's your choice. So don't be, don't, don't stop yourself from giving yourself that choice. Some people do need to have that restraint. I don't think you guys know. Like, I don't think you guys need to have that restraint. You guys need to have that freedom to express yourself in different ways. People need these different energies. Okay, so like, um, you know how like before I was saying how, um, you know, some people can like pick up, like some people, everybody, you can pick up on frequencies and vibes, right? Some people more than others, okay? Some people can't pick it up at all or like they don't let themselves really recognize that they are. You can, you can give that to others and maybe that can really help open up other people's eyes. You can awaken other people to these vibes, right? To their energies. Am I getting more? Yeah, freedom of choice. Allow yourself the freedom of choice. I think you really vibe with that freedom, you know, this freedom energy of just to do and live and be. You know, and just express yourself in that way. And it's so good. Keep going. Keep going. Wow. Okay. Mm. I feel like it's time for tarot. But I think maybe some of you guys need to pull, pull some Bible cards first. Um, this is the second time where I pull Bible cards before uh, tarot cards. So we're going to see. Oops. Sorry. We're gonna see. Yo, why are these messages? Oh, oh, hey. Okay. Um, I guess we'll maybe we'll pull two more. Already. Already, spirit guides, y'all. What's the message? There's one more. This one. Okay. Let's start with this one. Psalms 68.3 May the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful, y'all. So we were just talking about this happy, like, playful freedom energy. Like, do that. They're saying, and that's, like, this is spirit confirming that for you. They're saying, yes. Be happy and joyful. Boo-boo. Ain't that great? Ain't that amazing? You know, some people I know it can be, it can feel weird to just want to be happy or just want to just... Do what you want to do. I don't know why. Maybe because you feel like, maybe society, you feel like it, you feel like you have to earn it, you know? But I feel like Spirit's saying, just go, be free with this. Be happy and glad and rejoice. Like, we're all with you. Take comfort and solace in that and just be like, hey, I got this. I'm good. I'm good doing myself. I'm good being me. You know, you know like, it's all good. Happy vibes. Happy, happy vibes. Matthew 6.34. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Ooh. Amen to that. Oh, can I read this again? Hold on. Do not, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, y'all, I love this so much. <laughs> I low-key live this way, like, every day. I'm like, you know, y'all, you can speculate about the future, about everything to come as much as you want to until you are blue in the face, okay? You know, when I'm getting into spirituality and, and, and future prediction, everything, like, Yes, anything truly can happen, you know? I mean, there's, oh, like, law-wise, anything can happen law-wise. That is a law, okay. But, usually, um, there is a law of, well, law of physics and logic and balance, right? So, um, just know that tomorrow will happen and will happen the way it will happen. It's, like, whatever. There's no point in worrying about it. There's literally no point. Like, you cannot. Um, you can hope. You can pray and everything, but to be like, this will happen, but this is like, you can go on that forever. You can literally go off like that forever. There's no point. Okay. So please let tomorrow worry about itself. Worry about the outcome. To, like it's tomorrow. Don't worry about outcomes. Just be right now. Like they're saying, just be, live in the moment, be happy, joyful, and joyous and glad. Just be, worry about tomorrow. Like whatever. It's fine. Tomorrow will be okay. It's going to happen. Or, you know, they say tomorrow is never promised, but you know what I'm saying? Like. Tomorrow is tomorrow. Let today be today. Live today. John 1, 4. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. Were we not just talking about you being a light? Come on, you guys. Confirmation messages. Let's go. Confirming for you. You are a light. 
be that happy, glad, joyous light. Take the energies and go be humorous. Have fun, make people have jokes, laugh, just laugh. Don't let tomorrow worry about tomorrow. You are a light. Mm, beautiful, I love this comforting energy for you. Oh, I love spirit. Thank you, spirit, for letting them hear this. For telling them this. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy they can tell you this. Um, okay. I'm not really feeling star spinner today. I'm kind of... Hello? Who are you guys? Okay. Three of Cups. Temperance. Ooh! Guys, I love the Temperance card. Like, it helps me so much. Anyway. Um. Hello? Don't want you? Nah, I don't really want you. Actually, I kind of want you, though. God, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me just... I be a mess. Y'all know I'm a mess. Leave me alone. This is my brand now. Okay. Let me get these messages for you. Dang. Alrighty, Spirit. Is that what you got to say? Is this what you have to say? Okay, yeah. I think you really want me to say this. Um, where do you want this one? Here? Here? Actually, I want this like that. Um, y'all... Okay, since y'all can't see them other cards, we just gonna move these just off camera just a little bit, you know. Move these upward. Um. Okay, is that good? Mm, no, I don't like it. I can move this water bowl. Yeah, I'm sorry I do this like every camera. <laughs> I'm figuring this out also like as I go along, so bear with me, please. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Um. Mhm. Mm Is this like tilted, by the way? Like. Ugh. Ugh, forget it. Okay, anyway, let me just make these I'm sure these are visible. I'm okay, look, I know my quality is gonna get better. I'm gonna have quality videos, I promise I will, but let me just give these readings out first, okay? We're getting into this. Okay. Mm hmm I mean, first of all, like, come on, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups at the end, like, good news for you, man. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so when you outreach to these people, when like when you have like this good outreach to other people and like have this energy for them, when you transfer these energies to others, you know, that just brings you this sense of balance. Like you just feel like you're doing what you're called to do. You feel like you're doing what you're supposed to do, what you're here to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like that just feeds yourself. Look, that temperance card, it's all about like nourishing yourself. You pour your own cup. People so appreciate when you come around, by the way. They so appreciate, they're like, oh God, they're here, yay. They're like, oh my God, finally, you're here. That's what it is, they're not, oh God, they're here. Oh God, finally. <laughs> you know, they're like, yes, okay. <laughs> Maybe like you're like one of those people, like, um, like you know in school, you know, you have your classroom, right? And like, you would feel like when someone's absent, you know? Um, you are that person. Like, people just feel when you're not there. They're like, okay, this person is not here. <laughs> where are they? Where are you, what's going on? And then maybe when you came back to school, they're like, where were you? What were you doing? Where were you? You know, you know they're like, hey. Because <laughs> they low-key missed you. They low-key missed your energy. Maybe they didn't even know it. But they're like, yeah, we need you here. People like having you around. You make everyone happy. Just make people happy. They're like, yeah, yeah, you're good. Hey, what's up? And know that yes, what's in with what's in you, like what's within you is you. Don't worry, like it's of course it's you. Like you wake up and that is you. You're made like this. You're, it's it's you. But know that it's also divine. It is also divine. You have the light of the mind in you. You have divine light within you. And people maybe not even notice like that's what it is, but they notice that you shine, that you have a light, that you are a light, and they love that. They love 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 that. You are born. You are made to have this divine light within you to share with others. You know? And it's so good. And all these different ways they travel, I don't even know. I don't even think I don't even know. Um, 
the way, like, there's the, okay, so listen, there's different ways this happens. Um, this, and it can be for different people, because, you know, different people pick up on different things. Everyone has their own unique experience. Some people might notice just the way you walk, and that is the light for them. They just, like, this, this, they just, uh, they just see this walk, and they just see how you just walk with light and shining and comfort and you're just like happiness and happy to walk with all this gusto and star power and light and they and that can you know they maybe want to do that themselves they want to emulate that they want to make that happen in their life they want to be that for other people too you know what i'm saying like other people they can hear the way you speak and hear all the light within your voice and just it shines for them it it helps them it helps and heals them and they want to have that for others you know what i'm saying like you the way just you doing a lot of you helps so much with other people you don't even know you have no idea you have no idea and this is not even me saying this because i know you but like <laughs> it's, this is spirit saying you do not have any idea how much you be helping other people how much people love and low-key crave your life some mm -mm. okay yeah sometimes it's even need sometimes sometimes people even need your light sometimes people need it or else something's not right you know which Loki isn't that good. It's not a good energy for people to need something like that. But like, they do need divine light. And I think it's just they notice the divine light within you. So don't feel like too discouraged and you kind of have to take your own space sometimes and like get your own vibes right. Because I mean, you are your own person as well. You are you are human. You have to live. You have to help. Be, you have to heal. Be healthy and do your own thing sometimes. And that's okay. And that's good. Don't feel guilty. I know maybe like a lot of other people sometimes try to make you feel guilty of that. Or like want to be like, hey, you know, you don't hang out with me. You don't talk with me. But that's them, you know. You do enough for yourself, and that's good. You need to first put your own cup first, and then you can pour for others and be that for others. You know, we talked a little bit about that before, divine energy. Sips to divine energy. Um, and I know, guys, we don't talk about a lot of masculine energy here yet, at least. But a lot of intuition is divine energy, actually. I mean, sorry, feminine. Divine feminine energy. Um, anyway, so, but with Temperance card and talking about Divine Femme and, like, I'm saying this is the energy also for men, too. You have to give to yourself first. You have to provide for yourself first or you also cannot give to others. That is the rule. Period. You cannot pour water for others if you can't even pour water in your own jug. What will you pour if your jug is empty? Okay? You must heal yourself first. Take solace and comfort in that and know that that is good. That is strong and that's what you're supposed to do. Heal yourself first and then you can go out and outdo others. Because guess what? If you go out and do for others first without giving yourself, you will be broken. You will break yourself. You will take pieces of yourself away because you won't be pulling so much from you to where it's like something you can replenish. It's just going to be you. It'll be pieces of yourself that you'll be giving to others. And that's so much harder to get back, you know? You're going to be taking on, and like when I say when you give yourself, one, you really do be just giving, like you barely have energy. Like let's say you wake up and you're like, oh my god, I just need a, uh, I just need my, I need a day for me today. I need to do myself today. But maybe you feel like you have other obligations, like to other people, to other kids, or whatever. And you're like I have to do this, and so you will maybe be to put on that happy face and give them to others, but you will feel so depleted and so empty afterward. Whereas before you felt great, after you felt maybe even more energized after, you know, doing stuff for other people. But if you don't give to yourself first, you will have nothing. And be just so drained. Oh, weak even. That makes my arms go weak, you know? You have to give to yourself first, you have to. It's good for you. Even if that might seem like you're putting other people at a disadvantage or being unfair. Okay, I'm putting quotes here because it's not true. Um, to other people. They might feel that way. They might feel that type of way. And that's that's okay for them. That is okay. Because that's how they feel, boo. That's them. That is their journey. That's not you. You have to do what's best for you. And at the end, doing what's best for you is doing what's best for other people. You know what I'm saying? So it's all going hand in hand. And it's okay if they don't see that at first. Just know you can be honest. You can tell them, hey, I just really need my own space right now. I just really need to heal and like do my own thing so I can feel okay. You know, so you can feel okay. And then here's here's the red flag. Here's the kicker. If they don't feel... Okay, because guys, I'm reading everything right now. If they, Because look, that's the hermit energy. Like, guys, real tea. I'm, I don't even see the cards, right? I'm kind of just like reading. But now I have to... 
sometimes I have to like look back at the cards and be like, wait a minute, is this making sense? <laughs> okay, cause like, look, look real tea. When I was like reading at the beginning, like this bath bomb and the, um, the Samaritan card, like I really wasn't, like I was just kind of just reading energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I kind of do the same with tarot. I, I pull the cards and they are confirming, but a lot of it, a lot of the time, half of it's for you to see. <laughs> So like while I'm talking, you could be like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. But really I'm pulling messages for you. So anyway, um, confirming for me, that's what it is. I look at the car like, is it making sense? Okay, yeah. So anyway, like I'm saying, having that retreat, like that hermit energy, it's all about that retreat. I was in this energy for whoo, years and years, y'all. Years and years, for a good seven years. I had to be in this hermit energy and really like get into my own practice and journey and path or whatever so you may not have to be in this for seven years like me but whatever it is do not like look the hermit energy is so good it's such a spiritual high spiritual energy card like it's especially next to temperance too I'm, okay look now i'm just finally reading these cards i'm actually like seeing what's going on okay so when okay when you have this hermit to next to uh temperance feeding yourself is I don't even know if the words I'm going to say will really hit the way they need to for you. Feeding yourself and giving yourself spiritual nourishment in your own space gives you all power. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gives you all power. This dominion over your own energies, over the energies in your life energies of others too like if you really get into that um which can be please be careful with that and energies of others there's laws there's morals and there's always always karma so please be careful do not do anything you might regret or might pull others off their path um thought of your energy people out there you want to make sure you don't disrupt the flow of the universe you know what i'm saying like there's a flow of everything and i feel like you can kind of pick up on that that's how you can pick up on energies and place them where they need to go you're one of those like energy like spiritual people like your soul like um i don't even know a lot of a lot of your soul or origins i'm getting a lot of different origins here but um a lot of you like a lot of your spiritual gifts is you know you pick it up on the manipulation of energy and like how you can do that right so just make sure it's all for the good, all for the collective good. You know what I'm saying? Not just good for you, not just good for them, but the collective good. Um, serious, serious stuff. Okay, anyway, um, right. So when you like have that power within you, you have that energy over you, you have more um, leeway and freedom and choice to express that in different ways. Wow, you guys, I'm just talking and it's somehow going into these cards. I love when tarot makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> or it confirms for me and I can pick up on that because a lot of times I'm just reading. Anyway. Um, what was I saying before with this card? There was a message here. We were saying something. What was it? What was it? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, back to these two. Um, giving yourself is such a, like giving unto yourself is this really, really important spiritual practice for you. Please do that. And it's like, you can't really, this, you can't have community with this, okay? Having community will distract you when you try to go into your spiritual, when you're trying to fulfill yourself spiritually, like nourishment wise. Um, and that can be different for different people. Some people it is going to church, some people it is uh, meditating, some people it is drawing. It's different for different people. So whatever it is, it's, it's you. So don't have all this outside influence when you are going into this, okay? When you're going into your own energy and space. Treat it as a sacred moment. Treat yourself as sacred because you low key are. You are low key, you are mid key, high key are. You are sacred. You are a sacred person. Treat yourself as such. When you go into this power, like when you find this power of yourself, you're gonna find like this over dominion, this dominion, like I keep saying dominion with this card, um, dominion over that power and like direction. Of where that goes maybe this energy you kind of maybe it's like you might have been in this like infantile or childlike space or um action right but i think as you over time as you grow experience this and give to others and really see how you nourish yourself and how you become a spiritually recognized fully functional person you know what i'm saying um you'll be able to recognize energies even better and more clearly 
and be able to direct that even better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you guys are pretty good at okay. Like, you know, it's a, it's a natural for you, but I feel like you're really going to recognize, okay, here's the energy I'm picking up on, and here's where it needs to go. Let me do that. However that happens for you, you know? It could be different for different people. It could be speaking, arting, arting, arting. Um, cheers to arting. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh, I don't like that tea no more. It kind of reminds me of like this, uh, this like old alcoholic beverage, I guess, caramel in it. I don't like it. And yeah, I need to make it hot and then I need to add salt. Yeah, anyway, because it needs to be salted caramel. That's what I wanted. Anyway, maybe even some butter. You know you can add butter to tea. Don't do that. Anyway, or you can. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Mmm. Of course, do your research, you know, in different types of spiritual practice, different ways to nourish yourself. Because, I mean, it's not like this is talked about. It's not like you can even like, yeah, you might be able to divine and like natural channel and pick up like what's good for you, like on your own space, in your own terms. And you will. But a lot of it, too, you kind of have to research like, what can I do? You know, what I'm saying like, what's what's available? What are the options? Um, because you, know, you could do this one thing and know about it and see that it works, but you could find something else that works even better. To nourish yourself spiritually. That's what we're talking about. Yes. When you pick up on all, a lot of these energies too, when you really do that, uh, please be careful on the origins of those. Please know that some of them, a lot of them are not coming from you. Um, you know, when you... People who are good at these... Or people... I'm saying like I know this because I, I don't know this, but I feel with my clairsentience, people who are good at, um, you know, picking up on these different energies and transferring them... Um, you know, you guys, that's, that's empath vibes right there. So you're picking up on a lot of, yeah, energies, but also vibes. And that comes from a lot of other people and different sources. Um, so you're gonna have to really be clear on your discernment and where that comes from. And, and like, be careful also with what energies you should transfer. Let's talk about, not, let's talk about shadow energies not because i don't want to say bad energies negative energies because being sad or feeling angry isn't a bad thing like those are those are feelings those are normal emotions that are necessary that everyone needs to feel and it's good to feel them when you need to feel them but um please be careful when you are transferring those energies or picking up on those energies i mean one you're gonna have to pick up on it too and notice that if it is from you or not from you um, and it's gonna be, this is a journey thing. It's gonna take a while for you to practice this. Even after you notice it, you're gonna have to still practice. But anyway, um, you will be, you will have to transfer sometimes, like, you know, anger. You will have to transfer frustration. So people won't let themselves feel that and that, that but they need to feel it. And you're gonna maybe see that. I think you're gonna see that. And you're gonna know, no, you need to feel angry about this. Um, it, it could be different situations. It could be like, one, um, Someone wronged someone, like you, someone you know, and like a friend or somebody, and you're, and they're like, oh, it's okay, um, it's okay. They, they, they give excuse for the person, right? And you're like, no, you need to feel angry, and so you're gonna say A, B, and C to make them angry about this, so they can do something about it, right? So you don't let somebody walk all over them. That's for one instance. Um, and so, on that. On that being said, though, be careful with what you think and what you feel. Like, be careful with what your opinion is and your inner intuition, okay? A lot of nourishing yourself is going to really pick up. You're going to really pick up on your own intuition, how that works for you when you start to do this a lot of spiritual nourishment. So don't worry too much about it um, with your instinct and what you feel. But just because you may feel that, like, for, a for another instance, maybe, like, um... Mm, Okay, let's say someone lost their their ring. They they left their ring at somewhere, okay? Or fell in a sewer grate. And, you know, and maybe you feel like that ring was really special. Maybe it was really expensive. And you're like, wow, you need... And, and, and this person's like, okay, I lost it. But yeah, it sucks. But I'll be okay. It's all right. At the end of the day, it was just a ring. I'm gonna move on or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe it's like that. And maybe you feel like they know they need to be sad about this. But maybe that's your opinion, right? Whereas maybe they had to go through a self-growth moment or journey moment to where they need to let go of material things. You know, you never know about these practices and pathways of different people. So I think you're really gonna have to, first of all, really give to yourself, unto yourself, so you can um, not only be able to nourish yourself and nourish other people the right way, but also be able to discern um, different 
vibes and you know what's good for people so you can transfer the right energy the right emotion okay the right message i think that's what that warning is here just be careful because i know you're gonna probably pick up on a lot and feel a lot that being said um with this wheel of fortune and this ten of cups right next to each other and at the end of this reading come on can oh my god hold the freaking freaking phone what yo i just saw um wheel of fortune is 10 10 of cups you guys okay so in numerology and tarot first of all repeating numbers is a thing like it's a thing like it's important messages to hang up like hang up on but like get hung up on like oh wait let me pull up on this let me look into it let's dive deep you know what i'm saying but also the repeating message i mean i was also was living with this 11 one one um and then with this nine and nine oh my god you guys i hope it's resonating for you i really think it is i hope it is but just know that going first of all you are in such a great space you are in such a great space and in such a good energy and you're on the right way you're on your way you are on the right path. You're on your way. And know that you're on your way towards success. B. Look, Wheel of Fortune is such big success. Everything. But it's more than just like, oh, you know, here's all this great stuff coming to you. It's because the life, the life that you have been living and working for has been leading you to this moment. It's leading you to this. It's all good. All this work. So please continue. It's Ten of Cups, it's completion, fully, fully satisfied, fully happy with life, with your family, with your career, with like just everything, with spirituality, everything's working out, everything's working together, coalescing, it's the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is true unity and flow of everything, and it's coming for you, you will feel and tap into that, you will have this for yourself, you will make it happen. Such good, good, good things great things coming for you great amazing things coming for you mm. and with that i thank you so much i thank you for being here and i thank you that i was able to get this reading for you and i think that you're here that to get this and listen i thankful for your listening thank you so much for being here i'm so happy i'm so excited for you too like i'm so happy for you okay with that i will see you in another reading bye Hello, 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 and welcome to your My Witch Angel reading. Oh! Now, if you chose the Cupcake Bath Bomb, this reading is for you. Oh, also, if you chose the Hedonist card or Hedonist, I should probably look up, like, how to pronounce that, but, like, it's fine. Anyway, um, I want to read it one more time because I don't remember. I knew it was, like, something about giving yourself nourishment, but let me see. Um, inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrates the beauty in yourself. Okay. Shadow attributes pursues pleasure to the detriment of health. Indulges at the expense of others. T. Uh, okay, so y'all know how we do. Oh, but if you're new, like, hey. Um, what I like to do is, like, I like to, like, read the message first. See what vibes we get. And, like, if you resonate with that, cool. You're in the right place. Um, stick around for your message. If it doesn't resonate with, uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, then go and check out another pile or a different video to see what other messages that spirit may have for you. Um, so, pile three, let's get into this. Okay, first of all, isn't it kind of crazy that, like, it's about, like, self-indulging and, like, it's the cupcake meth bomb, even though the other ones were, like, color-changing ones? Um, I didn't plan this, by the way, like, oh y'all, maybe I should. <laughs> you, okay, real tea, like, when I'd be, like, doing readings, I'd just be, like, placing things on the cards, I'm like, here we go! <laughs> I mean, it's worked out so far, things have made sense, but <laughs> I'll just be reading, you guys. Okay. Sorry, let's pull in. Let's pull up this reading. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, first of all, <laughs> I gotta mention it. Okay, look at all this food imagery. Okay, I feel like it's a mess with that. Let me think. Let me think. Let me get this. Okay, I think. Okay, for your guys' energy. A lot of you guys have finally just been rewarding yourself in a sense. You know, you've just been allowing yourself, you've been giving yourself, like, 
what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just like, for instance, I want to go and, okay, yeah, I want to buy this ring because it'll make me happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you haven't just been doing things that will make you happy. You know, that's what this card is about. We just read it. Hedonist is all about things that make you happy. You're just, you're taking the bite of the cake. You're taking your cake, or what's it called? What's the saying? You can't have your cake and eat it too? Well, no, you're finally giving yourself, you're like, no. What, why? Why not? Why can't I have my cake and eat it too? So finally, you're letting yourself have your cake and eat it too. Chomp! Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> um, bite the cake. And I feel like Spirit's really saying that is so good for you right now because maybe you haven't been giving yourself that a lot. You haven't been giving yourself a lot of that love. A lot of that reward, you know, of like, no, I do deserve this. Yes, I can have this. I can eat, have my cake and eat it too and enjoy it. I can enjoy my cake. I cannot feel guilty about it. I feel like, yes, I wanted this. I can have this. I deserve this. I want this. Because I think it's like less about deserve with you guys. It's more just you want it than getting it. And I feel like, you know, of course, like you can't have that in your whole life. But I feel like right now in this moment, that's so good for you. And I'm so happy you're doing that. Giving yourself the love. Giving yourself. Giving to yourself. Hmm. It's so funny because kind of like Pilot 2 kind of had a similar energy of giving of your like giving but it, Pilot 2 is like giving more to others from yourself. This is like giving to yourself from yourself or from others to yourself. You're kind of like taking it and like fine. Okay. Yes, I will take this. Okay. I can't have this. Accept it. Um. Yes, it's like Spirit has made this cupcake for you. They're like, hey, we made a cupcake for you. Can you take it? Take the bite. And finally, like you're being like, okay, yeah, I can have this cupcake. I'm kind of feeling Star Spinner Tarot for you guys, actually. Yo, like, this is, like, the first time I pulled it for this reading or, like, this video. Um, I want to, like, oops, hello. Because I kind of, like, wanted to, um, pull it to before because I just, you know, I love this card. <laughs> or I love these card decks. I mean, I do love this card. But I like, I like these decks. These, uh, card deck. Star Spinner is just so pretty. Um, but no, the Tarot, this, uh, the, the Rider Waite Tarot came before. Oh, oops. Do I want these? Okay, hold on. I want you, I want you, and yeah, I want you too. I feel like we have to pull more, but hold on. I really want this. Okay, I feel like you need to be in row first. Okay, you need to be here. I feel like you need to be here. Okay, Loki, yeah, hold on. Let me move some stuff over. How are you doing today? Oh my gosh, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're following your dreams. And I hope... You're following your aspirations, your callings, you know? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, yeah, I think we do need to pull more for you. Yeah, let's just pull more now. Usually, like, I would, like, read this first and then. Um, but no, I think... I think we need maybe a full picture here. Wait, we're looking... We need a full picture here. These two? This one? Hold on, where do you want to go? Yeah. Here? 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 We'll pull you there for now. Um, sorry y'all. Sometimes, okay, like Loki. Um, I don't really read a lot of setup like I don't really like, use like I said you thinking like in my first video ooh what um I saw my first video maybe you do need to go here no I feel like it's something different here um kind of like read like storybook style but I don't know somehow we're, we're missing a full picture I'm sorry if I sound like mm. Ooh, no wonder you want to come out. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> so I'm fine with the cards. Because, like, look, Loki, when I'm, like, shuffling, um, so, okay, and, like, you might feel this, too, if you're ever tarot reading or reading, whatever. You can kind of feel like when a card calls for you, you know, they're like, hey, pick me. I think this one is picking me, too. Wow. Yeah, you guys need a full picture. Where do you want to go? Um, and I'm um, choosing this card. She doesn't know where she wants to go. I feel like one more. 
Yo, what the heck, man? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12. This is 12 cards. What the heck is going on? What is going on with your reading, eh? Um, okay, then I'm gonna have to move this angle so y'all can, um, y'all can see everything, because this is a lot. Yo, I've not read these many cards all at once since I was in Korea reading with my sister. We did one for her, and she was like, we were like in my place, and we just did more and more cards, and got a really big, big full reading. Um, so I guess that's what's happening now? I don't know, you guys, I'm started reading. Oh, crap, I have to do the angle. Um, oh, let me do... That hey, by the way, what's good? Um, here I'm gonna do this. I'm like I'm using like um my my um camera stand is a like a flexible rod. Here I can kind of show you. So it's like this material. This is a light that I. It's a ring light. I don't use it because I mean I have a big light like right above me. If you want to see, hold on. Like, this is, like, my light. I don't like how I'm showing you guys everything. Hey! <laughs> I might as well, like, you're seeing everything now, right? Okay. I hope it's... See, now I can see it better. Ooh, should we just do this, like, more? Like, should this is... Should this be the angle, you guys? Yo, did we just find it? But, like, low-key, my only thing is with this angle is, like, y'all can't see the cards, like, super in detail. Okay, well, maybe that's something you can tell me that if you care about, like, in the comments or something. Like, let me know if you really, really care about seeing all the cards all the time in detail. Or if you're fine just having it like this. And, like, I can, um... I'm sorry if this is annoying and, like, you just want the reading, but... I don't know, I like talking to you. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Um... But I do. Um... Okay, here, I'm gonna move this. Y'all, is it? I feel like it's like tilted or like slanted. Let me make it more. No, let me more like that. That's better, yeah? It kind of looks better. I don't know. I just did this, y'all. I'm I'm in the middle of a reading. Give me a second. Let's move these cards upward. Okay. Oh, and here were the bath bombs from the other piles. They're here. Hey, girl. Oh, let me put yours. There. Hi. <laughs> We're all together here. Okay. Because I want to also make sure y'all can see these. Mm, how am I going to do this? Okay, make him move this more. Ooh, I should I make this like a stand? But then y'all can't see the bath bomb. Whatever. Y'all know what the, what the bath bomb is. It's a cupcake. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm a little ratchet, you guys. Okay, let's continue this reading. Or let's start this reading. Dang. Did we even pull oracle cards for you yet? No, we just went right into this tarot. Okay. I, I think I mentioned it to like the second pile, but like low key, sometimes when I do this, y'all, a lot of times when I do this and I just notice this, um, when I'm moving cards, I'm like low key kind of getting the different messages, <laughs> like the different energies and everything. I'm like, mm hmm, okay. I'm like sifting through it all. I'm like, yes, yes, tell me, <laughs> tell me at all. So like low key, I don't know, I'm just kind of getting. But also, I'm gonna getting like just, it needs to be set up this way. Like, just let me just move it perfectly. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yes. Okay. So you have started. A really, really, really big, important journey. A really big journey. And, mm hmm it began... Hey, look. So it began, like, with the death of yourself, right? Or, like, will be beginning, or is beginning. I feel like, you know, since... I just feel like this card either has already happened, this death of yourself has already happened, or, like, you've moved into this new cycle, or, like, you're finally, like, you... Like, you really... Like, this is either... It just happened, where it's happening or already happened. I don't think this isn't the future for you guys. This isn't coming. Like it's think it's you're like it's ending. Like this is like this death card right now. You kind of like had that previous journey already. Like you learned what you had to do. That you heard what you had to do. You started it, and you're coming into yourself now. You're coming into this new this new chapter. Like this is all new. Um. Mm hmm. Sorry. Maybe I couldn't put this here because I do be like with, using my hands. I'll have it there. Okay. 
Um, I think he wanted to reach out to a friend. You know, like a good friend. It could be a best friend. You know, look at them. They're best friends. But it could be like just a good, a good friend that you can really talk to and be close with and talk about whatever whatever this transition was for you maybe the maybe the spirit will tell me later but right now i'm just really getting like you kind of wanted to reach out to this person or like have this person talk to you and talk with them but and you know i feel like because you know you have a good relationship here let me move this up so you can see it better um you have this good relationship with them and you you wanted to talk with them you trust them you kind of see eye to eye like i'm getting like just a good soul tribe vibe with this person this one person but, um, there's something, hold on. I feel like a lot of you want a partnership with this person, like to work on something together with them, to move and grow with them, walk forward with them. But, you know, and there's this butt injury, but this Ace of Wands in reverse, something is stopping you, something happened. I'm getting like you kind of want it, but you're not sure um, or like want to. And, you know, the thing is, I'm not really getting too much romantic vibe right now, actually. I'm getting just this, you know, it's like it's like a good friend, like, you know, one of your friends um, that you want to go on a path on, walk on a path on towards. But for some reason, there's a but. You have. You know, you have your journey and your own journey. Even though you may not be walking on the same path, it's okay for it to parallel. I think maybe you and this person got parallel, right? You know, it's 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 the four of wands and it's the two and two. It's all about parallel, right? So I'm thinking, yeah, your past and like your passions parallel each other, what you want parallel, like what you want to do. Like you guys see eye to eye, but for some reason you can't be on the same path or like work together too much, you know? Um... Hmm. Mm, okay. You know, okay, so look, so Divine, they tell you what you need to do. And like, I think you're really picking up on that, but you're not sure Divine maybe picks up for them. Like, you don't, you're not sure how much Divine is speaking with them and on their path. Like, yeah, it really works with you and you really want to do this with them and you're like really wanting to work with them. Um, But you're just not entirely sure if they're moving like, if their intentions and, like, their motive or, like, the why, um, coalesce slash balance with you, like, you know, because, I mean, at the end of the day, you're, you're not going to, like, let go of this person, you're not going to, like, not be friends with them, but I think you just, you're maybe seeing that a project with them maybe not work out in the way you need it to, it won't work out best. And that's okay, because, you know, you have such a good, strong, leader. look, even though you and this person might do really well and like maybe you can see really well like you guys working together with this project or going towards this path walking along this path you know like it has to be you it has to be an individual thing you know you have to work what's best for you right in the way that's best for you and it's good because that's okay good because that's it's all within you like you know you have this this inner passion this inner drive right it's not just from nothing you have this planned out like you have this strong inner strength that you don't really it's you don't need anyone else you know what i'm saying like no it's not necessary you have it all within you you have it all within you everything okay all your skill set the work the connection right you would speak with what you need to speak with okay yes with the world card here i'm getting a lot of this is networking can i can i pick up the card hello Right, I think a lot of you, you, you want to network and talk to different people, and I think you really wanted this person to do it with you, but for some reason, it's not working out that way. Whatever you're envisioning, it's not working out the way or it won't work that way. I'm sorry that that's, that's the T, but that's just the truth. But it's okay, though, because, I mean, it's still going to work. You're going to be okay. You're going to get to where you need to go. It's just not the, with this person that way. I feel like you are going to come together somehow or like be in this, be in this somehow, like, I don't know, somehow it's going to be, you're going to be together, like, 
I don't know exactly how to explain. It's like you're not exactly partners, but you're working together, but like you're together, but you're not working together. I don't know. I can't, it's a really weird vibe. It's a weird vibe I'm getting. It's different, it's different. I don't understand it fully. It's complex. A lot of moving parts for them and for you, you know? It's like you're moving this way to get to, to the middle of this point to point B, and they're moving this way to get to the middle of this point to point B, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and I feel like you can kind of maybe see the way they're working, like you're here and they're there, and you kind of see how y'all are coming across, and you're like, we can just do this together, but no, y'all have to come together in this way, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, hold on, um, my head hurts, um, okay, because I'm thinking I'm getting two different people, yeah, yeah, maybe that's what's going on, because y'all, this is so weird to me, like, having all these, like, no oracle cards yet, I think it's two different people. Coming at things from a different ways. Okay. I don't know. So right now I'm trying to think about how I'm going to do this. How I'm going to approach this. Like, should I read for you and for them? Or should I read for both of y'all at the same time? Should I read, like, how they affect you, how you affect them, everything? How it, how it all goes together? I don't know. You know, this is different for me. I'm, I haven't had a two-person reading come in before. Um, yo, um, hmm. Okay, let me pause this. I did this for a pile too, too. I just stop on a certain card and like get the reading and channel how I think it's gonna go. So let me pause this really fast uh, and I will be back when I have more for you. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, um, had to change it up a little bit because, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. And they're changing camera angle, like, everything. Okay, you see clearly setup's different. So, <clears throat> and let's get into it. <laughs> Yo, okay, real talk. Guys, I've never, ever, ever in my life done a two-person reading, like, ever in my life. So, I'm not even sure how this is going to work. Um... How's it happen? I, I don't know. So, um, we're just gonna get into it. Okay, so, also, isn't it kind of cool that, like, it matches, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the number of cards. I mean, yo. Okay, anyway, anyway. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, and then we have seven. <gasps> Guys, first of all, okay, to have a six and a six, and then, like, that's just balance, okay? And that's just so many energy, so many vibes, oh my god. And then to have the six, six, and then have the seven, seven is a divine number, okay. Is this about to be like a whole romantic reading for real? I mean, is it though? Okay, guys, I'm not like opposed to romantic readings. I'm just like, you know, I've been getting to my feels, you guys, all right? And I'm not like used to that. I'm not like a person who feels. <laughs> I mean, I am now opening up my own heart chakra. But anyway, that's that's beside the point, y'all. Let's get into your reading, eh? Okay. Um. So, okay, as you can clearly probably see, one person, other person, um, and this is your connecting energy. This is what, this is what I'm getting. This is the vibe what we're putting down. Um, I'm getting this is the you though. I'm getting a lot of you are this side. If you do resonate a lot with this side, great. Pick up on it. Take that. Great. That's you. But I feel like that's a lot of the person that you see or like you know. This is the other person who you're thinking about, who you're, you know, who you're, who you're thinking about, you know? Um, so, but back to you, though, we didn't finish with this card. Um, and, you know, I was kind of put this was for you, so I, that's why, I don't know, I kind of just pulled it. Because, you know, and, you know, this was, like, on the first row, too, like, these ones. I'm just, I'm just trying to be transparent with y'all, so, you know, I'm not trying to plan. I did not plan this. Um, and it's, like, Loki getting later, and I'm like, I've been reading for how many hours, too? And we thought we got two type of reading? Anyway, so pile three, you better say thank you. <laughs> say thank you by giving me a thumbs up because we're about to do a long-ish reading. I hope you got your snacks. Refresh your drink. Because I really feel like this is about to get a little bit long. Um, but let's finish with you first. Okay. Okay. 
fine. So a lot of you had like in, like into this chapter of your life before. You're like, you know what? I'm not this person. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm done. I'm done being this because you weren't you. You weren't authentic. You weren't happy. Other people were destroying you. They were coming for you. They're like, you can't do that. You gotta make you do this. You gotta think of this. You gotta do. You were thinking of all these principles and religion and think of everything you had to do with with with, with responsibility. What other people placed on you. What others had set up. And you know, you you really were thinking of. Oh, I gotta do this for that. I gotta do this for them. You know, this is what they expect of me. You know, you weren't really going off of what you expected for yourself, what you really wanted, your passions, your desires, how, your drive, what she wanted to give. You know, look at these wand cards. Look, y'all, yeah, look. Okay, if this, I really feel like this is you. Look, look, okay, all the wand cards, it's all about passion. It's all about drive, and that's all you got, bro. Like, okay, yeah, your first card, the first, but see, I don't really think, like, these are, yeah, you, but like, it's not exactly like, the middle, like it's like beginning, middle, end, you know what I'm saying? So like the middle, look, it's all one card. So you finally, maybe that's like what this, um, I wouldn't get the bath bomb, but it's setting up this card. Ooh, well maybe I'll just use, yeah, we're done. Who was this? Pile one. If you're from pile one, hey boo, um, welcome to this reading. And I'm gonna use your bath bomb for setup, thanks. <laughs> um, but we need this for visuals, okay? Can I put it here? And the, well, no, it's a bath bomb. I can't put it in water. <laughs> anyway, well, I could. It's supposed to go in water, but we're trying to take a bath right now. Maybe y'all try and suit you. Um, by the way, try, like, getting a tarot reading while you get in a bath. I've never done that before. Let me know how that happens. What do you feel? Anyway, okay, so, right, you guys. With your finally, your finally... Hmm, let me think. Let me, how to preface this. Okay, so, like, life had presented you cake. You know, presented you cake. Whereas you're living quote unquote cake where you're like yeah i'm living a good life i'm like oh, pretty much okay like um again and of course you know you have ups and downs but overall you're like all right i'm pretty i'm doing pretty okay i'm not you know like, maybe like i'm not a homeless person with nothing to my name like at least i've got something going on you know and i think you're really okay with that but i think you know you saw more that life had to offer more that you had to offer more that you can connect with and get into and really start for yourself to, but you, that would be eating the cake. It'd be like, maybe I'll be doing too much. You know, maybe I wouldn't, you would be letting others down or think that you would, or maybe if you were, but I think that was before, like this old energy. But now you're finally like, no, forget that. Forget trying to just live for everybody else but me. You're finally living for you. That's why I think, that's why it's not like when we did the beginning of this, you were like, it's not about deserving this, all I deserve. Like, no, you're just like, no, I want this. I want this, so I'm gonna go get it. You know what I'm saying? Really, you really want this person. Maybe you are not in a rich, romantic person, romantic, uh, what's it, relationship right now, but you want to be, and you're going to be, I feel like, or you really, really, you're going to make that happen. You're like, no, I'm making this happen. I want this, I want, <laughs> aw. It's like, I want you, I'm going to go get you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go get them. Um, you're going to finally take what you want. So, and I think, and shh, man, spirit is saying, F yes, man. Finally, you're finally doing this and going for it. And it's so good because it's not even just about like this. Like I'm saying, it's not like y'all are going to come together, but you're on your own journey. Like you're doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you're doing your thing. You're on your journey. You're making this happen. Okay. And, you, and, you, and, it's, and you, I know you can't exactly do it with them. I know you want to. I know you, you know you guys would be doing it really well together, but you got to do it. You, you got to do you right now. And just, but I feel like it's moving. It's Ooh, and these wand cards so fast, like, and you're moving around. You know, it's, maybe it's travel. You know, this world came out before, too, and I was thinking travel, but I wasn't sure if I needed to say it or not. But I feel like, yeah, you guys are going to travel. You're going to travel somewhere. He's, they're going to travel somewhere, you know, um, to come together. Like, I keep them coming back here because, like, this is, like, that together energy for me, like, moment. I'm, like, together. Okay, like, he's you, he's them, together. Anyway, I feel like you, go here, they're here. Anyway, okay, so, and also, like, with this world, like I said before, was it in this reading or a different reading, Pile 2? If you're from Pile 2, hey, welcome. I'm glad there's more for you. I'm so glad that we have more messages for you. But also, um, if you're Pile 3 and you feel like you need to see Pile 2, go ahead and say Pile 2, because I think there's Pile 2 energy for you. Not Pile 1. Um, anyway, um, Right, there's a lot of um, outside influences and factors moving in favor of this relationship and this connection, you know? Um, and then, it's it's because it's, 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 it is you, and it's the people you're talking to, the people you're working with or trying to work with or want to work with, you know, some project, whatever it is. Oh, what do you want to do? What do you want to work for? What is it? I want to know. Um... Anyway, um, but also your guides, like they're, everyone is, it's all coming together for you and this connection to happen. It's all coming together. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at this person, how you view them. Because, I mean, they're not there right now or right here or whatever. I don't know. Um, maybe they are here. I don't know. But um, I feel like this is... This is for you and how you can read them or whatever. I don't know. I, guys, I'm saying I did not plan this. I'm just going with what I feel. So I'm sorry if it's not maybe too organized right now. I'm just trying to make it work because this is what's happening. This is your reading, Pile 3. Um, okay. So, like, this is them right now. You, like, or you see them or you feel them or they are just, like, this empress energy, you know? You know, you just see them as, like, having it all together. They're just going for it. They're doing what they need to do. They're happy. They're, like, spiritually practiced. They're just, like, everything's coming together for them. And, like, you, see, you just see this, all this good for them, you know? You just see them as the empress. They have everything. And they have, like, you have everything. They have everything you want, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you feel like, yeah, I can get into that. I can tap into this. They're so amazing, you know? Maybe that's why you feel like you really need to start working now. You're like, wow. You see, like, how you guys can work together. I feel like maybe you're really starting to fall for, fall for, oh, goodness, oops. Well, I said that. I'm not going to say anything else on that. That's just slip of the tongue for me, but maybe not for spirit. Anyway, um, you're really starting to fall into this energy of, like, yeah, I am, I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you're, maybe before you weren't going into your own power, but now you're falling, falling into your own power. Look at this solar plexus, a lot of solar light. You're letting this a light illuminate from within you. you're like letting it shine you're like i'm going for this i'm doing it you know you're going for what you want you're not sure how it's going to work together you're not sure you're really not sure how it's going to work fully but it's okay um i feel like you're really giving a lot of spirit energy too you're giving a lot of spirit like um you know you're like you're letting it happen you're letting faith happen you're like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna try this and spirit like you got me like okay hopefully you have me you know your backup Yeah, you really, yeah, I am getting doubt. Like, I'm getting, like, a little bit of doubt. You're like, I'm not sure how this is going to happen. Like, come on, like, how is this going to happen? But you're just, but overall, it's, you, you feel too strongly to even let that fully stop you. <laughs> you're like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm just going, I'm doing it, you know? I'm like, oh, fucking no, here I go. Um, Sorry for cussing, by the way, guys, I'm sorry. Anyway, but I feel like, you know, because you tap into that with them, you know, you're like, they're kind of like the same way. They just go, you're like, you know what? They're like, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to do it. And you're like, okay, yeah, then I'm going to do it. Um, and I think you really want to work together with them and do it with them, but Okay, hold on. I've got I got the butt, but I don't have the butt. What? But what? We'll get into it. We'll get into it You know you really start like you felt you're starting to feel like this person is like starting to reveal the, like, Their inner truth like you know their inner honesty like their inner passion their inner like emotion Secrets, magic, everything that's there. You feel like they're opening up or like You're opening up to this like you're kind of getting this door like you're open this you're getting this open doorway You see an open doorway with them now. I don't know. That's kind of I'm getting that's the energy with this reverse moon because like you guys Okay, um, I'm gonna pull this up so you can see it. Hello Um, so like with the moon isn't this card so freaking pretty by the way. Oh, I love it so much I love the moon card. It's so pretty. Okay. Anyway, so with this moon card, look this, this little rabbit. I'm sorry, you guys. I really, really like these cards. <laughs> and this one, look, this is like my first official tarot deck ever. I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of it. I just love Star Spinner so much. So if you made Star Spinner tarot and you're watching this, thank you so much. Appreciate it, fam. Um, you did a great job. <laughs> um, anyway, so... Yes, it's finally like this door that had been closed before. You saw it as closed in shadows and the dark. You're like, this is it's probably not going to happen. You're just like, even though it's weird, because like there there was this existence. There is the existence of this door. Like if you can visualize that, people, you guys. Um, whatever you visualize a door, however that looks. But it was covered in shadow, though. It wasn't like you could really access it or it can ever really be open. But you know, there was a door there. Um, and maybe that's part of your head thinking where like, well, there's a door and then it can be opened if it's closed and be sure you wasn't going to open it. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever it is now, now though, the door is lit up and not only by, but the door is open. The door is open. I'm feeling there's so much light coming in, you know, so much light for this open door for you with them, you know, together. It works together. Like this is like, I'm getting like together, you know, I don't know. Even though it's like different, still, I don't know. Different vibe, different pathways, right? Different energies. Um, and maybe they're starting to really just feel comfortable more with just being themselves. And I think you really like that. You, it's good. You, it's good for you seeing this. You know, you like. Okay, yeah. You're like. Okay, I see this. Yes, I can do this. You know. 
And you know, I want to say the word, oh, I can do this too, but it's not like you're exactly copying. It's just like, it's just, they're, they're your motivation. It's like a motive. It's like, yeah, inspire. It's, it's inspiring for you. You're like, okay, yeah, yeah, I can do this. Yes, I can do this. Um, what is it? I want to know what this is. Is it a project? Is it a project? What is it? They're not telling me. Ooh, what is it? I want to know. Well, anyway, two of wands. So you also see this person like, you know, hold on. Well, okay, well, this person has options. Hmm. Some of you can be romantic options. Some of you, it's just like, what? This person has options of going somewhere. This person can go somewhere. Okay, maybe you were thinking they weren't sure if, like, you weren't sure if this travel, but yeah, no, I think they're in the right, they're in the right, they can. That's what I'm saying. They can tra They can travel. So if you're worried about that, don't worry. They can travel because they have like these options, these choices open to them. You know, they've been coming into your own, their own power. Like with this Empress, right? I think you see that they have like so many different ways that things that they can do. And so believe that. Believe that there are so many things they can do. You know, there are so many things they can do. I'm getting that a lot. They can do this. They can do that. So maybe, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm, like, guys, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really just channeling right now. Um, but maybe you're feeling like they didn't have options or couldn't go anywhere, or couldn't go so many places. Um, but, aww, it's like a part of you. Aww, that's sweet. It's like a part of you with them. But knowing, maybe that's a thing. Maybe that resonates for somebody. It's a part of you with them. Mm hmm And it's like you place yourself like home with them. It's like here. Hmm. What did you give? You gave us something. You gave something. What did you give them? What did you give them? Hmm. Maybe you gave them whatever you gave them or want to give them. What is it? You gave them or giving them? I don't know. It's something about something you're sending something. I don't know. But somehow it's like somehow Spirit's saying whatever that works or whatever it is. I don't know, you guys. I'm just reading. But Spirit is saying it's like what, whatever that motion was opened the door. And like it's like having them be like, okay, like being open. It's like having them be open. Well, yeah, it's you. But like also like just being open. The open doorway, you know? Okay, here's okay, here's what I'm getting with imagery wise. Here was the door, right? They were on the other side of this door. The door is in shadow at first, but like you coming into this has kind of put this door into light. And I think maybe on the other side, I'm trying to think what they saw. What did they see? What did they feel? I think they felt the door. They, they could place their hand against the door. Why is this so weird, you guys? I'm sorry, I'm just channeling right now. Like spirit. They communicate in different ways, so this is what I'm saying. Or this is what they're saying. I don't know, this is what I'm getting. It's like they had their hand against the door, right? It's like, but it was like, it's, it's like gently though. It's like very, ever so softly. But it's like, you know, it's, it's like you felt like maybe they shouldn't, you know, it's like, oh. It's like, it's like this, maybe this inner, like they want to like touch the door more and like maybe put their hand against it and really maybe, Push against it, you know, see what happens. But they didn't like, but it's like, oh, but maybe. But like, you know, they kind of like could touch the, the door and I don't know, you guys. Hopefully this is making sense for you if it is. It's like, there's plenty of things I can think about, but I'm, I'm just reading right now. I'm channeling for you. But fine, somehow, I don't get it. Somehow, it's like they were there. They're standing on the other side of this door. They're always there. And maybe they were other, always on the other side of the door. Like, I think they're always kind of in the vicinity of this door. Like, let's say, here's you, right? Here's the door, and like, there was them. And I feel like, you know, they would be like close and hovering around it. You know, they're like, oh my God, you know, hello. Like, the door's there and like kind of, they just, but they don't want to go anywhere else. It's not like the door's lit up and open or maybe even unlocked, but they don't want to go anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? And there's you, and like, you though, it's different. Maybe, 
Hmm. It's like this door was always there. It's like this door was always there. Even before you guys noticed. Uh huh. And then, then you guys noticed like there was a door, but maybe you didn't really talk about it. It, it, it was it, maybe you noticed, they noticed, but it was no, no talk about that or connection. Maybe it's just a vibe or something. I don't know. Um, but I don't. I think. I think. Maybe you were, maybe you were off somewhere, like, I'm saying like, okay, here's them, like by the door, they're like, oh, you know, I, okay, all right. Maybe not super acknowledging the door per se, or opening it, but they're there, they don't want to go away. Maybe it's, maybe the door, you can say it's an option, or the connection, or something, they don't want to go away from it. They don't really fully acknowledge it for some reason, I don't know, but you weren't even in the same vicinity, you couldn't be though. You had to do something else, you were, you were away, you were before this death, you know, you were before this death. So, I think maybe, but before you were aware, I think you were aware of this door after that, but like, it's not like you can be even in the same space of it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe you felt certain things or certain ways, but you couldn't do anything, I don't know. But now, you're here, they're here. Still not talking though. There's still like, look, there's still like too much disconnect. So the door is there, it's open, and it, I feel like they see, maybe you see, but you're not sure how how you're going to actually go to the door and actually cross it. I came up, like, I came up pointing here and here, like, this is also another world card, but I feel like I, like, I want another world card here to be like, but somehow both of you are going to end up traveling, you know? Okay, hold on. And then... And I feel like they're looking for that, you know? Hmm. Weird, weird vibes, man. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, and I feel like they're really open to... Open! They're just open to a lot of things right now. Possibilities. Really open possibilities. They're like, yeah, this can happen, this can happen. Open possibilities. They're open to it. Open door. Open possibility. It's like an open possibility now or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the King of Cups. So I feel like, you know, with this, they have a really strong dominion over emotions and how you feel. Um, but it's nothing, like I'm not getting malice, get to the, I'm not getting malice from this at all. Like not one smidgen. I feel like this is all low key. It's all like really romantic. It's so romantic and like, but not romantic as it, oh, it's just like, the word that comes up is union. This feels like union to me, but before I continue with that, let me continue with this reading. I'm just like, I'm like, I was like Loki getting like lost in the emotion. I'm like, mm. cause it's more than just love and it's like a stable, it's a stable, it's a coalescing. Like guys, I'm really feeling, you know, this world, like when everything comes together and like, you know me, I'm channeling, I'm tapping in. I like, can feel it. I just feel, my goodness. Okay, but, but I can, I can get lost in this. So I will continue to read. You know, I feel like this person really can di dictate how you feel, you know, emotion-wise. I feel like they make you feel really a lot, like, strongly. But at the same time, I feel it's like it's like you are okay with this and you're good with that because, and you like it. You're like, yeah, that's a, this is good. Because I think, you know, there's a lot. So when it's like they know how to, since you guys, like, just work so well together, like, you think you feel this um, just great, just really great working together vibes. Good, great partnership. Great, great, great. Um... You know, you're okay with telling them and letting them handle... I'm not saying they're going to handle your emotions, but you're letting... It's okay with letting them have your emotions and getting them that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and having... Them having a way, a, a such way over your emotions. Like, because it's all good and it's you feel like you're okay and comforted and safe. You know, you're like, yes, I can be myself with this person. You know, you feel like you can be your full self around them. And you, you're you okay with being your full self even with their influence. You're like, I'm fully okay feeling this way with them because I know it's just, it's with them. You know, because it's them. Maybe not a lot of other people and maybe not too many other people at all really, but with them, you're like, yeah, I can feel this way. It's like you're supposed to feel this way, you know? 
I'm getting a lot of messages here, actually. I'm getting stronger messages. Hold on. Any word they can say can just make you feel something. I don't know. Um, but they really have a strong, strong hold over your emotions, strong bond, strong grip. But it's not like a, oh, I control you. It's like, it's like they're, it's like they're protecting it. You know, it's like they're taking you, they're taking your heart, your emotions, everything you have, and they're like, they're treasuring it so, so, so much. So like, and I feel like you feel that or like, no, they can do that. I have a capacity for that or have done that or is doing that. I don't know. But like, you feel like you give this to them and they can hold it and treasure it and like, protect it and keep it safe and nourish it and make it okay, you know? Give it light and love and just get and you know, you know, you feel so safe. You, so, you feel so good giving, you know, your emotion, their, their thoughts, your, your vibes, everything to them. Because I feel like you feel like it's it's just so good. That healing one is just so good for you. That that release is a healing thing. It's good, it's a release, it's emotion, it's, it's everything. And then I feel like, but it's not just release, you feel it so strongly. Um. You feel so strongly and like, you know, like it's like it's a strength between you guys. It's like a bond, a strong bond. You know, I hope I'm making sense. Queen of Swords too. Okay. You feel like you're, this person is really good at like, how do I say? Well, communication for sure. I mean, duh, like look. Okay, swords, you guys know, or if you don't know, if you're new to tarot. The sword cards, um, first are all about the air elements. So Gemini's, um, Aquarii, and um, <laughs> I don't even know it's the proper time to say Aquarii because I like it, but it could be Aquarians. Um, anyway, and uh, Libras, you know, that's these guys. But also like, you know, the air signs, the air vibe, it's all for communication, right? It's all about talking, speaking, communicating. And I feel like maybe, you feel like this person is really good at speaking, you know, really good, strong speaking vibe strong throat chakra vibe, but like speaking truth, speaking everything of what needs to be said. You know, you feel like you really like their voice. You really like what they say. And it's strong for you, like, you know, it means something. You know, they speak from meaning. You get that. And you want to listen and you want it to, somehow this, it's like it speaks to you. Somehow you feel like they speak to you, like directly, you know what I'm saying? And you have to listen. <laughs> it's like you feel like you're they're speaking directly to you, you feel that, but also it's like you have to listen to them. I mean, which I mean, come on, which is weird, because I'm not getting a lot of too much conversation between you, like too much back and forth. I'm not getting a lot of back and forth energy. I'm just kind of getting like this vibe, this vibe, maybe this sin vibe, this sin vibe, but like overall, it's not like a lot of back and forth, like, you know? Um, I don't know, maybe that's here with this Three of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Actually, no, it's not. Well, it's part of it. There's no back and forth. Why isn't there a back and forth? Okay, so that it's telling me the why. Give me a second. Sips. Hmm. First of all, you are connected by this magician energy. We're going to talk about this. First of all, um, can we just talk about how, hmm, I think you see an opening, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, okay, we, we talked about the open doorway, great, but you see this opening doorway with this person as in where, like, you see, like, your life, your lives, like, your life can be so different and so good and so great and better with them, um, you know, like, you see that and like, you feel that you know it can happen, you know it. Like, you low-key just know it. That's maybe, like, part of your psych vibes or whatever. You just know this. You're like, nah, if I'm with this person, we can do anything. You're like, we can take over the world. You know? I might want to. <laughs> y'all out there, what y'all doing? What y'all gonna do? Y'all might just want to. Take over the whole world. Just go over the whole world and do it. Do everything, you know? Just do anything together with this person. I feel like you really can, like, anything, do anything start a business or climb a mountain you're just like whatever like with you we can do anything like because you know you're coming into your own power you're like i can do you're like i'm great you're like i can do so well i don't necessarily feel like you're like oh i'm so great but i do feel like you're like i want this and i'm going to go for what i want you have that strong determination right and i feel like you can that vibe is really what this person you know you guys can just really vibe with everything like oh, we want to do this let's go you know what i'm saying you want mm, here we go 
Boom, let's go. Um, so yeah, there is definitely separation energy here with this, you know, third of third of cards. Three of swords in reverse, my gosh. Come on, English, let's go. <laughs> um, but there's so much emotion here. You know, usually, quote unquote, eh, I'm not gonna say quote unquote, because that's usually, but usually the three of swords is like the heartbreak card, but don't worry, I'm not getting heartbreak at all here, like, like zero. Um, I'm just getting like, maybe there's some type of weird emotion or something, like some emotional thing. So y'all can't be like this back and forth or like talk right now. It's just something emotional, I don't know. You see a lot of power and strong and strength with this person. You see like you feel like they are just so amazing. I mean, come on, you you're giving them the Empress and the King and the Queen. You're giving them the moon, okay? The options of everything. You give them so much. Okay. Give them so much vibe, first of all. It's a vibe. I think they pick up on that. Maybe yeah, I think they're really, really they're intuitive. For sure, they're an intuitive person. They feel your vibes. Um, I think they want to. They like to. They love feeling your vibes. They're like, yeah, you know? They really do. I'm sorry. I'm really getting that strength a lot. They really love feeling your vibes. Because I think for them, it's it's like the same. You're like, they just like, wow, you know? They're like, you, I can do anything with you, you know? It's a lot. Guys, I'm getting like a lot of balance here, a lot of energy. Even though it's different, it still just balances. Like, I feel like the world needs to be here, and I feel like another queen, or like, this queen can be here. You know, you can have this queen. Maybe, hold on, let me, let me, let me, sorry guys, let me just read in a second. Let me read something. You want to make, you, they want, okay, they make, come on, why can't I speak? They make you want to speak like, first of all, maybe they make you tongue-tied, maybe that's what this is. Like you wanna, you have so much you wanna tell them, but you can't because you're just like, there's so much, you know, it's so much. But um, I feel like you know they make you want to talk, they make you want to, they make you wanna like tell everything and speak everything, communicate, experience, and go everything in your mind. Your mind goes so creative, you know, your head. You think of all these different ideas. Talking with them, you're like, okay, I can think about this, talk about this, talk about. Look, it's just there's just so much there. It's so inspiring for you. And they light up your own throat chakra, you know what I'm saying? Like you make, they make you want to communicate more and want to talk more and, you know, give more from yourself. High, high, high vibes from this big energy. And they so feel this partnership with you too. Even though you guys are not talking, there's not a lot of back and forth. There really isn't, there's not. But they feel it. They want it, bad. Gosh, take that how that resonates, hello. Um, well, but, um, yeah. Let's have some magic going, hmm? I mean, you guys are magicians, right? So let's go into it. Oh, we didn't talk about that. Okay, we will, but let me just do this magic spell really fast. I wish and pray for your union. I wish and pray for the will of spirit to be done fast and in a hurry because you guys need it. <laughs> but I mean, if it's divine timing, of course divine timing, but I'm really feeling this is fast. Um, I just want to make it happen. And so I wish this for you, make it happen. I want this to happen for you. Lord God, spirits, guys, angels, please hear me. And know that this union I feel is divine. I know it's divine. You tell us. <laughs> You tell us, so I pray this, I speak it for it to happen. I speak your union, it will happen. Mm -hmm. So mote it be, <laughs> and I pray this, amen. Mm -hmm. A bond, a gift, what gift? What is this gift? A giving. What is this? Hmm. Well, me, I give this gift for you. <laughs> I give this gift, this spell and magic for you and this pray for you, this reading for you. I give it for you, I hope it works for you and I really wish it does and pray it does. I wish this happiness for you and your person and your union. 
I think it's so great. And I think, guys, there's so much. Who, they want this to happen. Your guides are like, it's making it happen. You're like, yeah, let's go. But I, and, I, and so that's what, this is why also, guys, if you're looking into uh, prayers and blessings and magic and charms and meditation and everything, it has to go along with divine will. Like if it doesn't, it's not going to happen. When it goes along with divine will, you can push it to happen, really happen fast. Or if it can happen to coalesce with divine will, you can make something manifest and happen. But um, if it's not supposed to happen, it won't. Sorry, spirit doesn't work that way. Well, well, there are other spirits to make that happen. So, well, you guys who are good and, and pure and going on this with good intentions. Um, sorry, I'm just saying that this is not... <laughs> Y'all know me. I can never have the perfect angle. <laughs> I'm like, no, it has to be even more perfect. Okay. Okay, let me just turn it just a little bit. Okay, sorry. Um, let me sip. Yes, I send this energy for you. I wish it for you. Go. Hmm, out the window into the world. Okay, sorry. Hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, okay, yes. Yeah. So you both really are magicians. Let's talk about that. So, okay, so here, look at the magician card, first of all. I'm sorry this reading's going long, so by the way, I saw it's like 2.50 right now, it's like almost three hours, my bad. Okay, but hey, it's important. Um, see how the Magician card is all four elements in his repertoire? I don't point it to three, but I mean, he has the coins up in there, see? Hey, hey girl. Anyway, <laughs> but in tarot, like, you know, okay, sword card, oops, must not go to your bath, mom. Um... Swords are the air signs and the air vibes, air energies, pentacles, earth, wands or rods, fire, cups or chalices, earth, I mean, sorry, water. And you're a magician who works with every type of element, right? And I feel like you are starting to pick up on that, all different types of elements and like really picking up the different energies of that, you know, because the different elements are the different energies, people who are new. So don't be like, oh my God, the water element. It's literally just the, the element of flow, the element of um, coalescing, you know, the element of finding the, the right pathway, the easiest pathway, low key, the right pathway. But anyway, um, so I feel like you really are picking up on all these energies. I feel like they did already. I feel like you see that as well because look, the magician is looking towards them. This is you looking at them. I feel like you pull a lot of inspiration from them and you feel you pull a lot of ideas and like a lot of like, okay, yeah, yeah, I get that. Okay, yeah, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, um maybe I think they really are inspiring for you. Which is so great. I mean, this is great because I feel like, you know, there's a there's a way there insp you're inspiring for them, but that's not it's not about that right now. It's about you. Um And so I really do hope you go into your own magic. And you don't practice with trying to at least make this happen or how it's going to happen. Wise. Pray more, like use the divine more because I think they're there for you. They're like, hey, give us the permission. You know what I'm saying? Like they need your permission. Just give us the hell. Go ahead. And they're going to be like, we'll make it happen. Of course, both of you have to do your own work, duh. But like, I feel like this is coming. This is coming. Yeah. You know. <sighs> Let's end it. With a couple of verse cards, I'm not really pulling, oops, hello. I'm not really full feeling to pull a lot of Oracle for you guys because I don't really think you need it. I feel like you got your the message that you really wanted, um, all the energies that you needed to hear. Okay, hi. Um, yeah. Sorry, anyway. Oh my gosh, can I like not shuffle right now? I don't know why I'm like, finally I'm feeling... Whew! <clears throat> I'm sorry. Clear, clarity, release. Like, I'm feeling like, yeah. Okay. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read. Even now, just I feel like you really feel like a lot of spirituality with this person. You really tap into that with them. You know, this connect. And this has got the vibe because, I don't know, I'm feeling like heavily on this side. Like this heavy. Because, you know, I feel like when, I'm pull, like when I'm reading a channel, I feel like the vibe, right? Like I feel like a heavy vibe. Like I really feel it on my body. And it's making me go towards this way. Like I'm feeling directed. Like it's starting with you and you're like, okay, yeah. Like you're opening this door where you're going. I feel like you're going. You're walking in this door. Maybe they can't, maybe they are not allowed to, maybe they're not allowed to. Yeah. There's, cause even though, I feel like they, 
I feel like they want this just as bad as you do or like feel it just as bad as you do. They can't walk through the door. You have to or something like that. Or like, I don't know. It's like they're standing there. It's like they want to, but there's something like they're not allowed. Something's stopping them. There's a wall there. Even though they really want to. I don't get it. What's this? It's just like they're not allowed to. It's like a rule or something. I don't know. Maybe that's what you've been feeling like. Why can't they do something? But I feel like there's, there's a rule. But, but they, no, yeah, there's a rule. And it could be a lot of different rules for different people. For some people, uh, it could be an actual law, like a uh, travel law. Some people, it could be a religious thing. Some people, it could be a COVID thing. Some people, it could be um, a divine thing. Um, different reasons. Different walls for different reasons. But, like, they can't go through it, but I think you can. Like, I think they're waiting for you, you know? I feel like it's, like, I keep on, like, saying, like, this is them. Like, they're at the door. They're, like, I can't go to the door. What the F? You know, they're, like, hello. But I feel like, you know, you're you're coming into it, and you're going to be, like, I'm here. I'm here. Like, like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. That's so romantic. Okay, anyway. I've always liked that I'm here. Uh, anyway. First Corinthians 10, 13. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out. Wow. Okay. Okay. Good message. Um, if you don't believe in God in that sense, you can change the word to spirit. But um, I feel like that's pretty uh, uh, self-explanatory. I don't have any much extra to add for that. I can read it again, but I can change God to spirit. Spirit is faithful. It will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Okay, they won't. But when you are tempted, though, it will also provide you a way out. So, um, whatever that, whatever resonates for you. I hope that really did. That, I think it did. Um, what's this? Romans 8, 28. We know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. Ooh, y'all. I mean, this is just confirming, like, it's affirmation. This is saying that li literally all of <laughs> everything, literally everything is, like, working for this to happen. Working for this connection, this union, this bond. I don't want to say bond too much, because I feel like you already guys have a bond already. Like, I feel like you guys already have a bond. Like, you guys maybe met already, or you just know this person already. I don't know. But, like, I feel like this union, though, you haven't really have a, had a union yet. Um, hey, whatever that means for everybody. <laughs> Different things. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to read this again, but I'm going to change the word to spirit for people. I'm, I think I might do that going forward. I don't know. We know that for those who love spirit and, you know, universe, everything, all things work together for good. It really does, guys. It, all things. Anyway, for those who are called according to their purpose that they're meant to be here for, guys... Guys, that's part of your purpose. That's part of what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to come into this person. Like, you're supposed to get them. They're supposed to get you. And I feel like it's happening. I, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Um, Psalms 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy and I will give thanks to him in song. You guys, I really feel like that's what we were picking up before. Where you're like, you know what? I'm going to just give more trust you know, spirit, let spirit handle things. You're like, let me just, or, you know, calling on spirit. We had that message before in a different reading. I feel like it's a lot of the same of you guys. You're like, just giving spirit your fears and your worries and let them give you strength, you know? Or the Lord, like, when you're, if you're a Christian and into that, you know, you're, if you're that, if that's you. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, trust that when that makes you so happy, like, I feel like that really does make you so freaking happy. It's opening so much for you. Like, you're so happy that you went through this death. You're like, wow, I'm not this old person anymore. Like, I'm not them. I'm me. Like, I'm coming into myself. It's new. You're new, but it's so great. There's so much promise and so much to do. You have so much to practice and so much to do. I feel like it's so great. And I feel like you feel that. You're like, this is so much. Like, life is different. Life has changed. Okay. Second Timothy, right? Uh, one seven. God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Man, man, I feel like I need to put this in my house somewhere. Let me say it one more time. God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity. Can we talk about that? You are not made to be fearful and 
timid and shy. Like, you're not made, no, 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 no. You're made to be you, authentically you. You! And be like, yes, this is what I want. Here's who I am. Here's what I want to be. This is what I want to do. There it is. You know, forget it. You have so much power. Guys, I keep talking about this like in all my readings. You have so much power. So much power and strength within you and love. I feel like a lot of you guys, I feel like you really need to tap into this so, 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 so much. Because listen, 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 listen. When you have, okay, so I'm really getting a lot of balance, you know, with this balance energy. You don't see it yet, but look, with this empress, that means you're the emperor. If you're the emperor or the empress, that means they're the emperor. Like, I'm, look, don't worry, they're going to help you see it. They're going to help you feel it. Okay. Y'all are just gonna work together in that way and you're gonna help them feel grounded, feel stabilized, normal, you know? Feel okay, you know? Which we can do more in another reading when we do a romantic one. I will leave it here for now. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I apologize that this reading went for so long, but hey, I mean, spirit comes through. They gotta tell you the message. I'm the messenger, fam. Um, and I'm so grateful that I can do that for you. I'm doing this for you and I hope this makes you go forth within your endeavors. I wish and pray the best for you and all the happiness. Alrighty, I'll see you in another reading. Bye-bye.